so your topic is computational chemistry and drug designing so my unit is drug designing right so in this syllabus we have the lead uh, ligand design ligand based drug designing concepts and structure based drug designing concepts so in drug designing concept you have the two types of methods are available so one is ligand based and another one is structure based right so in this ligand based means the two concepts are the final target is the designing of the drug right designing of the drug so if you want to reach that uh, if you want to reach that goal for drug designing concept so you have two types of methods or two types of ways or two ways you have to choose so based on the initial information what you have in your hand so based on that what information you have in your hand me cheyitlo e information aitundo dani base cheskoni you have to reach the goal right if you have any small molecules means drug molecules or chemical molecules with their biological activity if you have that information then you have to go or you have to choose the ligand based uh, drug designing concept because you have the certain information of the molecules with their biological activity so if you have that much information then it is easy to approach the drug designing concept by using ligand based method or else if you have the protein information means a disease orientation also means you have a small molecules along with the disease orientation means at which biological pathway the disease is occurring and a air region lo disease ostundi and disease cause what is the root cause for the disease means generally body what is a disease means generally the one particular uh, we can give as a uh, definition of disease is the disturbance in the regular process of the function body function edaitundo a function maintain chese atvante proteins untai kada enzymes gaani proteins gaani so what is regular function disturb avadam means either it may be over expressed or lower expressed and then the over ga function cheyadam ledhu ante lower elipodam ante function disturb avadam so a function deviation edaitundo that deviation of function is called as a disease right either it may be up regulated or may be down regulated ante normal ga jaragalsina function kante speed ganna jaragochu ledha slow anna avochu so ee renditlo speed jarigina slow jarigina then that is called as a disease right so a disease ki reason unnatundi specific proteins ganeyandi enzymes ganeyandi whatever it is so a particular disease cause anetundi meeku clarity ga telusunte means enzyme gaani protein information gaani perfect ga telusunte then you have to choose the structure based method so we have categorized that one to into two different streams then is ligand based and another one is structure based so whatever the in hand information mana cheyitlo unnatundi information ante ekkadi nunchi mana start chestunnam so sometimes we have to be start from the scratch ante zero akada emi dorakadu but mana target enti oka point vetukunnam oka disease unda disease sambandhinatundi drug design cheyali so adi cheyali anukunnapudu enti ante mana cheyitlo information emi ledhu appudu you have to based on the symptoms of the disease based on the conditions of the disease you have to extract the information or you have to collect the information to start the work right to start the work ipudu meer corona undi starting lo meeku oka term vin untaru repurposing of drugs ani vinnara eppudana term last year corona vachinappudu repurposing of the drugs antam ante repurpose of the drugs ante enti ante already corona symptoms corona ante dani oka details levu emi ledhu but you have no you know the symptoms of that corona సో సిమ్టమ్స్ ఇవి ఏదైతే నిమోనికల్ సిమ్టమ్స్ ఉన్నాయో అటువంటి అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం నిమో వైరస్ అంటున్నాం నిమోనియా టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ నిమోనియా నిమోనియా టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఏమంటాం సిమ్టమ్స్ కనబడుతున్నాయి సో అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాము జనరల్ నిమోనియాకు వాడేటువంటి డ్రగ్స్ ఏమి ఉన్నాయి అండ్ సేమ్ థింగ్ వైరల్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ అంటున్నాం సో ఫ్లూ టైప్ ఆఫ్ వైరస్ ఇది సో ఫ్లూ టైప్ ఆఫ్ వైరస్ అనుకున్నప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తున్నాం మనకు ఆ ఫ్లూ టైప్ ఆఫ్ వైరస్ కు ప్రీవియస్లీ మనం డిజైన్ చేసినాయి కానీ మార్కెట్ లో ఉన్నటువంటి డ్రగ్స్ ఏవైతున్నాయో వాటిని తీసుకొచ్చి టెస్ట్ చేయడం so that is called as a repurposing of the drugs antam ante enti mana daggara cheyitlo ye drugs levu zero from the scratch we have to start so scratch level lo ellinappude em antunnam then de novo method antam de novo means from the beginning zero at the level scratch akade emi ledhu but enti ante we have one target goal undi but initial ga mana cheyitlo emi ledhu appude em chestamu dan target ki reach avvali ante edo oka point manaku lead dorkali kada oka oka point dorkali kada mana mundu povali ante so that lead point identification lead ni vetukkodame de novo method lo unnatundi first concept meeku de novo ligand design gaani de novo drug designing gaani a concept ki ellina kuda de novo method means 
the basic from the scratch where there is no information such information to start any point so at one time pro repurposing of the drugs gurinchi gaani inke de gaani vetukone em chesam symptoms ivu unnai dani ki dagattu manam em cheyachu ledu oka protein information undi protein ki dagattu manam em develop cheyachu ledu oka ligand information edo chinna lead dorikind anukunna aa ligand base chestu netla develop cheyali so that is a de novo method so atlant appude enti ante mana degara unnatundi information ni base chestunu we have to start the concept so that's why you have so a uh, concept lo enti manaku use ay atvanti tools enti methods enti ye bi vaadthe manaki ye information dorukutundi so a tools ni etla vaadali right so that tools is the informations of the ligand based methods manam vaade atvanti hamet equation e gaani hans analysis le gaani slopes and intercept intercepts significances telisthe dappichi what is slope what is intercept how we are calculating that regressions right so what is a crack plot what is stop list schemes ante enti etla untayi bioassisters ante enti drugs lo gaani functional groups lo gaani and free wills an approach enti and molecular descriptors same em untayi oka molecule samajhina descriptors enti ante molecule ni describe chese atvanti parameters ki so andulo edi manaku avasaramu edi avasaram ledhu edi entha varaku manaku important so aa information ni manam telusukunte dappichinda nam vaadali vastundi so those informations first if you know that informations what it is then it is easy to handle those tools in this concept area all right so and then mix syllabus lo entante drug designing concept computational chemistry petina appude entante these are the basic fundamental tools and basic concepts anamata basic deen meda depend ayi in depth undatundi concepts chaala untayi right so now we have to start the what is lead molecule because whenever you go for this ligand based or structure based ligand based you have to start with a lead molecule right so in, if you want to go with the ligand based concept then you have to start with a lead molecule the small molecule which is a lead that is a starting point for that right so what is a lead molecule ikkada entante manaku different types of terms untai but all the terms are synonyms but usage and their privilege of the term meaning entante different avutundi okka place lo so like that the lead molecule the first term is lead means which is leading one that is a initiation point so lead right a lead molecule or a leading compound in drug discovery is a chemical compound that has pharmacological or biological activity likely to be therapeutically useful and enti drug ga ivvadaniki panikocche vidhanga unnatundi biological activity gaani pharmacological response gaani unnadu pharmacological response means a drug body lo baliki ellin tarvata body meed etla pan chestundi and body etla receive chestundi so that is called as a pharmacological response atom and a biological activity a drug ki enta activity undi ante enta takku concentration lo dan efficacy ekku ekku chupistunda le ante pan chestunda le ra so that likely to be therapeutically useful but it may still have sub optimal structure that requires modification to fit better to the target ante enti inka emanna chinna chinna marpulu cherpulu cheste inka better accuracy gaani efficacy gaani vache chance unda so atvanti chances vache unte then that is called as a lead molecule so complete the transform chases in new molecule develop chases then that is called as a drug right so next definition entante the lead drugs are followed by backup compounds generally enti lead drugs eppude gaane oka race lo unna anukondi relay race und anukondi okare run cheyar 4000 4000 meters run und anukondi relay so 4000 meters okare oru paragetharu kada so you have the three to four members in that relay means okaru okaru okare elthu untaru so ఏ ఒక్కరు డౌన్ అయినా కూడా ఇంకొకరు దాన్ని పికప్ చేసుకుని దే హ్యావ్ టు రీచ్ ద టార్గెట్ రైట్ సో లైక్ దాట్ ద లీడ్ డ్రగ్స్ ఆర్ ఫాలోడ్ బై దేర్ బ్యాకప్ కాంపౌండ్స్ అంటే ఏంటే ఒక లీడ్ డ్రగ్ ఉంటే దాని బ్యాక్ బ్యాకప్ లో ఏం చేస్తాం ఒక నాలుగు ఐదు రకాల కాంపౌండ్స్ మళ్ళీ సెట్ చేసి పెట్టుకుంటాం ఎందుకు ఇఫ్ ఎనీ ఛాన్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ లీడ్ డ్రగ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఫెయిల్స్ ఇన్ ఎనీ స్టేజ్ ఆఫ్ ద పైప్ లైన్ వర్క్ మీన్స్ ఆ ప్రాసెస్ లో ఎక్కడైనా ఫెయిల్ అవుతే ఎనిమీడియట్లీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ అనదర్ డ్రగ్ మాలిక్యూల్ టు గో దట్ ఏరియా right and the process lo ki analysis process lo ki malli inkoka drug ichesi mana process continue cheyal anipichi idi ikkadiki ayipoyindi ani back raavadam feel ledhu so that's why we will keep some backup compounds in that area right so its chemical structure is used as a starting point for chemical modifications in order to improve potency selectivity or pharmacokinetic parameter so ikkada selectivity point means some molecules are uh, stereo specific untai so stereo specific molecules unnapude em untundi manaku two types of confirmations untai so one confirmation will be potent and another will be impotent so okati active untundi potent inactive untundi atvante apude em avutundi compulsory we have to select the, if it is rs configuration or dl configuration 
సో బి విల్ బి యాక్టివ్ ఎల్ విల్ బి ఇన్యాక్టివ్ సో అటువంటిప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది డి స్పెసిఫిక్ గా మనం ప్రిపేర్ చేసి సబ్మిట్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది రైట్ సో పొటెంట్ సో ఇంప్రూవింగ్ ద పొటెన్సీ అండ్ ఇంప్రూవింగ్ ద సెలెక్టివిటీ సో సెలెక్టివిటీ పాయింట్ లో వచ్చేసరికి డిఎల్ కన్ఫర్మ్ గానీ ఆర్ఆర్ కన్ఫర్గేషన్ సేమ్ టైమ్ లో ఇంకొక ఇంకొక సెలెక్టివిటీ ఏంటి ఇఫ్ స్పెసిఫిక్ పాత్వే ఇస్ దేర్ బయాలజికల్ పాత్వే బాడీలో ఉంటుంది సో కొన్నిసార్లు ఏమవుతుంది అంటే ఒకే డ్రగ్ టూ డిఫరెంట్ ప్రోటీన్స్ మీద అంటే అడ్జస్టెంట్ ప్రోటీన్ ఫంక్షన్స్ లో ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏంటంటే సిమిలారిటీ ఇన్ ప్రోటీన్ ఫంక్షన్ అప్పుడు ఒక దగ్గర పోయి ఇంకో దగ్గర పోయి డాక్ అయింది అంటే యాక్టివ్ యాక్టివిటీ చూపిస్తుంది సో అటువంటిప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద చేంజెస్ ఇన్ దాట్ మెయిన్ టార్గెట్ సో అది చూసుకొని స్పెసిఫిక్ సెలెక్టివిటీ స్పెసిఫిసిటీ అనేది ఉండాలి అంటే ఈ డ్రగ్ వెళ్ళి సోన్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రోటీన్ కి మాత్రమే బైండ్ అవ్వాలి అండ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు షో ఇట్స్ ఫార్మకోకైనటిక్ పారామీటర్స్ రైట్ అండ్ ద థర్డ్ అనదర్ డెఫినేషన్ ఈస్ న్యూలీ ఇన్ఫెంటెడ్ ఫార్మకోలాజికలీ యాక్టివ్ మాయిటీస్ మే హ్యావ్ ద పూర్ డ్రగ్ లైక్నెస్ అండ్ మే రిక్వైర్ కెమికల్ మోడిఫికేషన్ టు బికమ్ డ్రగ్ లైక్ ఎన్ఎఫ్ టు బి టెస్టెడ్ బయాలజికలీ ఆర్ క్లినికల్ సో న్యూ మాలిక్యూల్స్ ఏమైనా సరే మనం ఫార్మకోలాజికల్ యాక్టివ్ మాయిటీస్ ఉన్నా కూడా ఎంతో కొంత డ్రగ్ లైక్నెస్ ఉన్నా కొంచెం ఎక్కువ తక్కువలు ఉన్నా వై కెన్ మాడిఫై దట్ వన్ టు బికమ్ ఏ డ్రగ్ లైక్ మాలిక్యూల్ అంటే కొంచెం బెటర్ ఎఫికసీ కింద మనం ఏ చిన్న చేంజెస్ ఉన్నా కూడా వీ కెన్ మాడిఫై దట్ వన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ఏ లీడ్ మాలిక్యూల్ సో ఏ లీడ్ మే అరైజ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఏ వెరైటీ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ సోర్సెస్ సో లీడ్ కాంపౌండ్స్ ఆర్ ఫౌండ్ బై క్యారెక్టరైజింగ్ నాచురల్ ప్రొడక్ట్స్ ఎంప్లాయింగ్ కాంబినేటోరియల్ కెమిస్ట్రీ or by molecular modeling as a rational drug designing concepts so different concepts untai rational drug designing lo docking ani di lekapothe virtual screening ani different methods untai so our methods lo manam em chestam ante we will find out which one is having the best for right next lead compounds best molecules ఉంటాయి బెస్ట్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ ఏమి ఉంటాయో వాటిని ఏమంటాం అంటే హిప్స్ అంటాం రైట్ సో విచ్ కెన్ స్క్రీన్ కాంపౌండ్స్ ఫర్ ది ఎబిలిటీ టు ఇన్హెబిట్ మీన్స్ అగోనిస్టిక్ ఆర్ యాంటగోనిస్టిక్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సో ఇన్హెబిట్ యాంటగోనిస్ట్ ఆర్ స్టిమ్యులేట్ ఎగోనిస్ట్ రిసెప్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ డిటర్మ్ అయింది సెలెక్టివిటీ ఫర్ దెమ్ సో ఫంక్షన్ అప్రెగ్యులేట్ లో ఉంది అనుకోండి అప్రెగ్యులేట్ లో ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏమి చేయాలి దాని డౌన్ రెగ్యులేషన్ కి తీసుకురావాలి సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ ద ఇన్హిబిషన్ right i have to give inhibition means at the down ayetat to inhibit cheyali so that is antagonistic type of nature if edaina function down regulate ayind anukondi the name cheyali stimulate cheyali stimulation means increase ayetat cheyali so that method is called as agonistic type of nature so drug whether we have to prepare a new drug whether it should contain agonistic type of nature or antagonistic type of nature means if you know the function then only you can design inhibition or means inhibit or uh, uh, ability to stimulate right next so these are the different drugs which are having the common features right so here you have that similarities so from this you can develop means here you are central you have the four number four is six octo octyl amino uracil molecule is there so that is a basic one by changing you got so all the six different uh, means uh, these are the six different drug molecules so the bedil one is a lead molecule and rest of the drugs are their supporting information drugs means you have cut the uh, carbon 8 chain which is substituted at sixth position of the pyrimidine ring right the center one is a pyrimidine ring so on that pyrimidine ring the sixth position is substituted with a nitrogen nitrogen means amine group and that amine group is uh, attached with the 6 8 chain right carbon 8 chain aliphatic one so you have removed that you have changed that position as well as you have increased or you have reduced so different types or else we can change in that place as aromatic ring or we can substitute any alkyl groups or aryl groups so different types of modification but you have not changed the main core right you have not changed the main core if you change that main core of the dihydropyrimidine position then automatically that activity will reduce right so our part ni mana marchakunda we have changed all the possibilities and we have tested that okay and next so we have the concept called in ligand based means uh, in ligand based drug designing concept the most important concept is the structure activity relationship calculation means it's a regression type of method if you go with the statistical one but what is structure activity relationship means the relationship between what is the relationship between the structure and the activity so if you go with the structure you require the features of the structure 
means if it is a chemical molecule so what are the molecular features the structural features so whatever the physical chemical features what is the biological features so that features how these features are correlating with the activity so that relationship will be finding in this method so that's why it is called as a sar generally sar structure activity relationship so best example in that you know better one the benzoic acid derivatives the acidic strength of the benzoic acid derivatives if you substitute any electron donating group how the acidic strength will increase or decrease or if you substitute any withdrawing group how the acidic strength are increased or decreased whether that substitution at ortho meta para positions right based on the ortho meta para positions how the acidity will acidic strength is increasing or decreasing so based on the substitutions all right so that is the best example in that so the structure activity relationship is the relationship between the chemical or a 3d structure of the molecule and its biological activity so the analysis of sar enables the determination of the chemical group responsible for evoking a target biological effect in the organism right so this allows the modification of the effect or the potency of a bioactive compound so typically we can call it as a drug so by changing its chemical structure so is it possible any change in a biological activity or not so that will we will, that we will test right so medicinal chemists use these techniques to of chemical synthesis to insert new chemical groups into the biomedical compound and test the modifications for the biological effect so based on the sar methods they will find out is there any possibility to insert any moiety means moiety means any functional group or any change in that molecule so if you change it, if you make any change in that so whether this will affect the biological activity or not so that they will find out right so this method was refined to build a mathematical relationship between the chemical structure and the biological activity is known as a quantitative structure activity relationship so before the quantitative method means the mathematical model or statistical model before that they know the only the thing if you change or if you keep any functional group in that but in one particular point so whether this will increase the activity or decrease it get so they have to go for synthesis and they have to test it they have to find out so how much increase or potency increase or activity increase they don't know but when it this model or this method will be implemented in a mathematical area i mean statistical regression area then automatically you can quantify quantify means how much extend 60% or 70% or 80% or 90% so here quantification quantity quantification right so quantifying manner will be available in this quantitative structure activity regression by using the mathematical or statistical models right and next so what is the difference between or the what is the quantitative structure activity relationship models so that is a qsr so qsr models are regression or a classification models used in the chemical and biological sciences and engineering so like other regression models qsr regression models relates a set of predictors variable predictor means what is the uh, x variables that is, those are the properties those are called as a predictors to the potency of the response variable that is y so what are the predictors means x variables means the properties of the molecule and how these are responsible for activity right so that's why y is the active that is a response variable and x are the variables those are the predictor variables so while classification qsr models relate the predictor variables to a categorical value of the response variables so how these are changing so if you change any x parameter so how the y is changing in a mathematical model you will get a y is equal to mx plus c equation so how x is changing then automatically y will be changed m and c that is one is intercept another one is a slope so both are same so if those two are the constant so whenever you change the x variable right whenever you change the x automatically y will change so like that you can easily quantify how the drug molecule how the molecules will change their biological activity how to predict that one so this is an assumption based on the statistical regression models right so in qsr modeling the predictors consist of physical chemical properties or theoretical molecular descriptors of chemicals so the qsr response variable could be a biological activity of the chemicals qsr models first summarize a supposed relationship between chemical structures and biological activity in a data set of chemicals so second 
the QSR models predict the activities of the new chemicals. So here we have the uh, two types of analysis we will do. First, we will select, select a set of molecules with known things, means known things means which have the response variable as well as the predictor variables. Means X variables, Y variables, rendu manak telusun at 20, a set of molecules this pony, we will establish a standard equation. So, a relationship equation and a model and term than general the mathematical terms law, we can call it as a model. Y is called mx plus c, that is a model, right? X square, a plus b whole square means you will get an equation like a, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, that is a mathematical model, right? So, you can change the x or y, whatever it is, a or b. So, based on the substitution of the a, b, c, d, so automatically you will get a equation. So that mathematical model y is equal to mx plus c means m1 x1 or m2 x2 or m3. If you go with the number of x variables, then it is different. If it is a single variable, then y is equal to mx plus c. So first we will set select a set of variables or set of molecules with the known things. Then we have to establish a model, statistical model with the quantity to manner means the standard 70% or 80% of the quantity. Then afterwards, whatever the model is fixed. So that model will be applied on the new molecules, on the new molecules, which have the predictor variables, not the response variable. So now you are predicting the response variable of the new chemicals, which does not have any biologically tested ones. So which does not have any biological information. But molecules can't even synthesis jail, biological activity. Only we have designed and we have certain theoretical molecular descriptors or physical chemical properties. We have to establish or we have to predict the Y means a response variable. So that is the most important scenario in this QSR method, right? Next. So as an example, biological activity can be expressed quantitatively as the concentration of the substance required to give a certain biological response. So additionally, when physical chemical properties or structures are expressed by numbers, so one can find a mathematical relationship or quantitative structure activity relationship so between the two methods right in between two right so the mathematical expression if carefully validated can then be used to predict the modeled response of other chemical structures which does not have any biological activity so a qsr has the form of the mathematical mathematical model is that is activity is equal to f of x so f of x plus error so f of x plus c generally we can, we can call it as f of x plus c so what is x that is a, a physical chemical properties or the structural properties and plus error so compulsory if any mathematical mathematical model is there so compulsory there is an error so deviation will be there so that deviation we have to present so that's why activity is equal to f of x plus error so the error includes the model error bias error and observational variability that is right so the variability in observations even on a correct model also so if you take the 20 set of molecules or 100 set of molecules or 1000 set of molecules but you will get the error variability how much error it is having right so that will be calculated in this area okay next essential studies so the principal steps of qsr qspr sar means structure activity relationship and QSPR means a structure property relationship. So both including the four types of means four steps are available. The first one is selection of data. Extraction of structural empirical Sir, voice cut tight in this section. Variable section means you have the number of variables. And if you put these data, there are a lot of variables in there. How many variables are required for us? A variables are required for us. Okay, sir. Now it is okay? Right. So, selection of data set is most important. Extraction of structural or empirical data. And second feature is selection. 
variables మీకు ఇంపార్టెంట్ అంటే మీరు ఏ వే ఇప్పుడు ఒక డేటా అనాలిసిస్ చేస్తారు అనుకున్నారంటే తీసుకున్నటువంటి సెట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్స్ ఉన్నాయి మాలిక్యులర్స్ వి సో అన్ని వేరియబుల్స్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అని చెప్పలేము సో సెవెన్ వేరియబుల్స్ అక్కడ ఒక డేటా సెట్ ఉంది మనం తీసుకొని ఎంతమంది పేషెంట్స్ వస్తారు ఎంతమంది పేషెంట్స్ రారు ఎంతమందికి ఎటువంటి డిసీజెస్ ఉన్నాయి తెలుసుకోవాలనుకోండి ఒక హాస్పిటల్కి వెళ్తే మీరు అక్కడ ఏంటి జనరల్ హాస్పిటల్ అనుకోండి పేషెంట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఉంటుంది జెండర్ ఉంటుంది ఏజ్ ఉంటుంది డిసీజ్ ఉంటుంది ఆ డీటెయిల్స్ అన్ని ఉంటాయి అదే ఒక ఓన్లీ ఏమంటాం మన డెలివరీ వార్డు ఉంది అనుకోండి అక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ తీసుకున్నారు అనుకో నర్సింగ్ ది అక్కడ ఏమైతుంది కంపల్సరీ డెలివరీ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అన్నప్పుడు యూ విల్ గెట్ ఓన్లీ ఫీమేల్ వార్డ్ రైట్ సో ఓన్లీ ఫీమేల్ అక్కడ మీకు పేషెంట్ నేమ్ వస్తుంది కానీ జెండర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అవసరం లేదు రైట్ సో అప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది అక్కడ జెండర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రికార్డ్ లో వచ్చింది అనుకోండి ఈజ్ ఇట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ జనరల్ పేషెంట్ దెన్ యూ రిక్వైర్ ద జెండర్ If it is a specific nursing delivery area, you don't require any of the gender information. So, if you have certain information in the molecular information, there are certain information that are required, certain are not. So, if we choose any variables, the most important variables we can select and select. And then afterwards, the third step is model construction by using a set of molecules. Then model validation. So, model validation or validation or evaluation means ND, కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ చేసినటువంటి మోడల్ రీ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్మెంట్ చేస్తాం అంటే ఏంటి రీ వాలిడేషన్ చేస్తాం అంటే ఏ సెట్ మీద అయితే మనం మోడల్ సెట్ జనరేట్ చేసాము అదే మోడల్ మీద మళ్ళీ అప్లై చేస్తాం అదే సెట్ మీద మీన్స్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ట్రైనింగ్ యూజ్ చేసిన ఏదైతే సెట్ ని బేస్ చేసుకుని మనం మోడల్ డెవలప్ చేస్తాము స్టాటిస్టికల్ మోడల్ అదే సెట్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ మీద ఇదే ఈక్వేషన్ మళ్ళీ అప్లై చేస్తాం చేసినప్పుడు దెన్ యూ విల్ గెట్ సమ్ ఎర్ర ఇప్పుడు సిక్స్ పాయింట్ టూ యాక్టివిటీ ఉన్నటువంటి మాలిక్యూల్ ఉంది మీరు సెట్ చేసినటువంటి మోడల్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ మీరు యాక్యురసీ వచ్చింది అనుకున్న తర్వాత కూడా సమ్ టైమ్ అదే అదే మాలిక్యూల్ మీద ఈ మోడల్ కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ చేసినటువంటి ఈ వైజ్ కొండం ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ ఈక్వేషన్ తీసుకెళ్ళి మళ్ళీ అప్లై చేస్తే మీకు ఏమవుతుంది సిక్స్ పాయింట్ టూ రాదు ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ వస్తుంది లేదా సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ రావచ్చు దెన్ యువర్ డివియేషన్ పాయింట్ ఎక్కడైంది పాయింట్ టూ డివియేషన్ ఉన్నట్లు లేదు Point to do deviation means whether it may be plus or minus, point to do deviation. So that deviation will be calculated in this validation methods. So that is reverse validation under. So internal validation, external validation, reverse validation, three types of validation methods are available. Okay. Reverse validation means that if we have a model developed in a model, if we have a model developed in a model, then that is called as a reverse validation. Okay. Reverse validation means that if we have a model developed in a model, ఇంటర్నల్ వాలిడేషన్ అంటే ఏంటి ఒక్క సెట్ ఆఫ్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ తీసుకొని దాంట్లో సెవెంటీ థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ కింద డివిజన్ చేస్తారు సో సెవెంటీ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ అ ట్రైనింగ్ థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ ఈజ్ అ టెస్ట్ సో టెస్ట్ థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ ని పక్కకు పెట్టి సెవెంటీ పర్సెంట్ మీద మోడల్ డెవలప్ చేసి ఈ థర్టీ పర్సెంట్ మీద అప్లై చేస్తారు సో దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ఎ ఇంటర్నల్ వాలిడేషన్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ వాలిడేషన్ మీన్స్ సో ఇక్కడ సెట్ చేసినటువంటి మోడల్ ని తీసుకెళ్లి కొత్త మాలిక్యూల్ మీద అప్లై చేయాలి సో ఈ మూడు మెథడ్స్ వాలిడేషన్స్ ఎవాల్యుయేషన్స్ ఎట్లా చేస్తామంటే ఫస్ట్ వీ విల్ అప్రోచ్ ద రివర్స్ వాలిడేషన్ మెథడ్ సో ఏ సెట్ మీద అయితే మనం మోడల్ డెవలప్ చేసినామో మళ్ళీ అదే సెట్ మీద అప్లై చేసినప్పుడు ఎర్రర్ రాకూడదు అది రూలా కాదా జనరల్ రూల్ మీరు ఏ సెట్ మీద అయితే మోడల్ డెవలప్ చేశారో మళ్ళీ అదే సెట్ మీద మోడల్ అప్లై చేసినప్పుడు ఎర్రర్ రావాలా వద్దా రాకూడదు కదా రాకూడదు కానీ వస్తుంది ఎందుకు బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద మ్యాథమెటికల్ మోడల్స్ సో మ్యాథమెటికల్ మోడల్స్ కాబట్టి ఏమవుతుంది ఎర్రర్ ఎంతో కొంత పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్ అనేది వస్తుంది సో ఆ ఎర్రర్ ని రెడ్యూస్ చేయగలిగితే దెన్ వీ విల్ గో విత్ ఇంటర్నల్ వాలిడేషన్ అండ్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ వాలిడేషన్ సో వాలిడేషన్స్ కానీ ఎవాల్యుయేషన్స్ కానీ ద లాస్ట్ వన్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ వాలిడేషన్ వెళ్ళి కొత్త మాలిక్యూల్స్ కి మీరు ప్రాపర్టీస్ ని మీన్స్ యాక్టివిటీ వై వాల్యూ ని వీ కెన్ ప్రెడిక్ట్ దట్ వన్ రైట్ so these are the four steps so what is the difference between qsr and scr so qsr is a mathematical relationship between the biological activities and the measurable physico chemical parameters and what about the scr scr is the relationship between the chemical or 3d structure of the molecule and its biological activity so qsr is mainly help in drug designing purpose and scr is used to develop a new drug that has increased activity right QSR is to optimize the properties of a lead compound and SAR is mainly done by lead compounds only, lead molecules only. 
and in this qsr it is a special case of the sar and sar is not the special case of qsar right next it deals with the potency and change in potency or efficacy right activity changes can edaina kuda qsr we can quantify that we can do that one. in sar it uh, in sar we don't we do not consider the amount of the change of the potency enta amount amount manaku akade entante quantitative measurement anedi sar lo kanapadadu so qsr lo quantitative measurement untundi kabatti then that is called as a good one all right and next so what are the physical chemical properties we have so ikkada manake enti properties evi iskovali evi iskovakudadu anatvante question ostundi right so what are the physical chemical properties so physical structural and chemical properties have been studied by the qsr approach but the most common are hydrophobic electronic and steric properties so ee mood properties manak major hydrophobic electronic and steric so hydrophobic anedi enduku ante body lo drugs should be in a hydrophobic region hydrophilic region lo drug bind avadu hydrophobic untene drug bind avutundi body ki right and electronic parameters enduku undali how it behaves and steric properties enduku kavali how it penetrates ante body lo pal unnatundi membrane layers evaithe untayo adi penetrate cheskoni ellali kada cell walls ni so a penetrate ayyedappudu molecule if it is in a steric high steric condition lo undu ankonda appudu molecule penetrate ayyalu so ekkada e requirement undo dani batte adi property check cheskovali andukane enti we will go with hydrophobic right electronic and steric properties these are the most important and common so this is because it is possible to quantify these effects so hydrophobic properties can be easily quantified for complete molecule or for individual substituents and it is more difficult to quantify electronic and steric properties for complete molecule and this is only really feasible for individual substituents so what is hydrophobicity so the hydrophobic character of a drug is crucial to how easily it crosses cell membranes and may also be important in receptor interactions so hydrophobic nature enti receptor interactions ki most important so andukane enti we will we will check the how much hydrophobic nature it is having and how much easily how easily it will cross the membranes cell walls bilayer lipid proteins endukante drug teeskunna tarvata ఫుట్బాల్ నుంచి ఇంటర్ ఇంటర్స్టైన్ కి వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత స్మాల్ ఇంటర్స్టైన్ సో ఇంటర్స్టైన్ నుంచి ఇట్ షుడ్ బి అబ్జార్బ్డ్ త్రూ ద బ్లడ్ సో బ్లడ్ లోపల్ ఎంట్రీ కావాలి కాబట్టి ఆ సెల్ వాల్ ఉన్నటువంటి బైలేయర్ లిక్విడ్ మెంబ్రేన్ ప్రోటీన్ త్రూ ఎప్పుడైతే అది డ్రగ్ లో డ్రగ్ బాడీలో ఉన్నటువంటి బ్లడ్ లోపల్ అబ్జార్బ్ అవుతుందో ఆ క్రాసింగ్ అనేది మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అందుకనే దాని హైడ్రోకోపిక్ క్యారెక్టర్ అనేది చెక్ చేస్తుంది సో చేంజింగ్ ద సబ్స్టిట్యూంట్స్ ఆన్ ఎ డ్రగ్ may well have the significant effect on its hydrophobic character and hence it is biologically active eppudu the drug dissolve ay absorb ayyund anukondi best hydrophobic nature undi cell membrane ni daati lopal ki ellagaligind anukondi blood lopal ki so automatically dan effect ane chupiyagalutadu kada oka vela dissolve ayi membrane cross cheyalekapoyind anukondi hydrophobic nature sariga leka so membrane lopal ki entry kaaledu blood lopal ki raaledu ante drug ane dan efficacy chupiyadu unless and until drug enters into the blood stream then only it will show its biological activity so and the cause and most important hydrophobicity so therefore it is the most important to have a means of predicting this quantitatively that is the most important so in this we have the two types of uh, two parameters we have that is a partition coefficient log p right another one is substituent hydrophobicity constant that is a pi p and pi values are important so what is a partition coefficient so the hydrophobic character of the drug can be measured experimentally by testing the drugs relative distribution in an octanol and water so organic and water aqueous and organic layers madhyalo unnatundi distribution ante oka drug water side delhi poyind anukondi complete la that is called as hydrophilic right hydrophilic if it is moving towards to ox, uh, organic phase then that is called as a hydrophobic phobic means by a hydro ante water hydrophobic means it repels from the hydrogen means water moiety so it will enter into the organic phase right so that is a distribution how much distribution capacity it is having right so hydrophobic molecules will prefer to dissolve in the n octanol layer means that is the organic layer of this two phase system so whereas hydrophilic molecules will prefer to oxygen means aqueous layer so the relative distribution is known as the partition coefficient 
of P and is obtained from the following equation. That is, P is equal to concentration of the drug in octanol and concentration of the drug in aqueous solution. Then you separating these are third third sem third year like that. No, I make separation sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, two types of uh, organic compounds. Which one put separation? Yes, sir. Gada. Octanol and water, sodium hydroxide, and octa uh, N X N. These two are separation. Yes, sir. Gada. Mixtures name. Mixture separation. So mixture separation is depends on this hydrophobic nature, right? ये को हाइड्रोफोबिक ऐसे तो पार्टिशन कोफिशिएंट लॉग पी उन दो बेस्ड ऑन दिस लॉग पी वेदर टू मिक्सचर ऑफ मिक्सचर ऑफ कंपाउंड्स ना पुरु ये दी ऑक्टानल मींस ये दी हेक्सेन लॉग केल्स उन दी ये दी सोडियम हाइड्रोक्स लॉग कल केल्स उन मींस एक्वस एंड ऑर्गेनिक फेजेस सो रेंडिट लॉग की डिस्ट्रीब्यूट � so because of this method right so hydrophobic com uh, compounds have high p value whereas hydrophilic compounds will have the low p value right and unko kada meer observe chesiro ledo varshan lo that is the cold avutadi enduku tala lopaliki varsham padda pudu tallo tala dadichind ankonde em aitadi ऊर्जा पैदा करने के लिए मुसलमान लोगों ने जब तक नेतृत्व के नील वो तेरा आनी जब तक आते पड़ा ये मैं अंदर ऊर्जा चल चिरा लगा सिटी ले बैठ के था सर जब तक आते पड़ा मुसलमान लोग ऊँगे तड़बा को नेतृत्व नेतृत्व के नील वो तेरे जब तक आते पड़ा ऊर्जा पैदा करने के लिए नाइना मोला मामा लोटे जब तक ఎందుకు వాటర్ మీన్స్ దట్ ఇస్ హైడ్రోఫిలిక్ అంటే ఏమైంది బ్రెయిన్ కాస్ట్ బ్రెయిన్ ఏరియా ఇస్ హైడ్రోఫిలిక్ రీజియన్ రైట్ వాటర్ లో ఎక్కువ డిప్ అయ్యింది అనుకో బ్రెయిన్ విల్ ఎఫెక్ట్ విత్ వాటర్ మోయిటీస్ అందుకే ఇమిడియట్ గా కోల్డ్ ఇవన్నీ వచ్చేది అన్నమాట ఇప్పుడు ఎవరైనా పిచ్చి పిచ్చిగా చేస్తారని ఏమంటారు నెత్రేక్ నీల్ జోర్నట్నే అందుకే పిచ్చి పిచ్చిగా చేస్తున్నారని చెప్తారు తెలుసా ముస్లిములు ఇన్నర ఎప్పుడన్నా ఇన్నర లేదా తెలంగాణ లో సాంగ్ ఉంటది కదా तिक्के तिक्के जैसे उन्हें टाइम के इतने नील जोरी नो गाल जोरी नो अंधे के तिक्के तिक्के जैसे उन्हें जब तरह ले दा रीजन इन डेंटे व्हेनेवर द ड्रग व्हेनेवर द ड्रग मॉलेक्यूल्स इज हैविंग लो पी वैल्यू मींस लो लो पार्टिशन कोफिशिएंट वैल्यू सुनना है इनको डे देन दैट विल एंटर इनटू so it will affect the central nervous system and the community the drug molecules should be hydrophobic head to the brain to the pitchy body motham function gala play and the blood low on a drug area and the community we will use the hydrophobic drugs not the hydrophilic drugs hydrophilic drugs if the patient is having any disease of central nervous system right central nervous system any brain low even a problem soon the ब्रेन हैमरेजेस कानी, ब्रेन इंजुरेस कानी, ब्रेन लो ब्लड क्लॉट्स कानी प्लांट घूमते, आर ड्रग्स है वैसे नहीं हो, दैट विल हैव द लो पार्टिशन कोफिशिएंट वैल्यू, बिकॉज़ इट शुड क्रॉस द ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर एंड इट एंट इट शुड एंटर इनटू द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड ब्रेन, सो आप Next, the substituent hydrophobicity constant. So we have seen the hydrophobicity of a compound can be quantified using the partition coefficient P. So in order to get P, that partition coefficient, we have to measure it experimentally. And that means that we have to synthesize the compounds. If we have to experimental measure it, no problem. But practical experiment, we have to synthesize the compound. We have to check it. Unless and until synthesized, we can get the values. Right? So it would be much better if we could calculate the P theoretically and decide in advance whether the compound is worth synthesizing or not. And then the P value, the partition coefficient value, if we are able to calculate that, and the mathematical equation, if you calculate that one theoretically on paper, so automatic MI put in the possibility into the if you draw a molecule and if you calculate the P value log P if you up near draw just a molecule worth for synthesis or not. So easily you can identify whether that molecule is worthy for synthesis or not. Right. So synthesis is worthy. I mean, I expect just not 20 log P value can put in the number. Then it is useful to synthesis. Can I put level one? We can reject it. Right. So for example, we are planning to synthesize a range of the structures. We could calculate log P values. 
for them all and concentrate on the structures which had log p values closest to the optimum log p value manam edaithe expect chestunnam log p value ki nearby unnatundi optimum unnatundi values ni manam easy ga draw chesi we can calculate theoretically calculate chesi if we are having the optimum values then we have to easily then we can easily synthesize that one right so that is a one method and partition coefficients can be calculated by knowing the contribution that various substituents make to hydrophobicity so substitution se vai tune a substituent hydrophobicity ni manam calculate cheyagaligithe then it is easy to find out the main molecule means a complete oka core molecule ki oka hydrophobic calculation undi then substitution se vai tune a r groups mana substitute chestam anni functional groups evaina sare each and every substituent is having its own hydrophobicity constant so that is a pi so a main core value ki substituents uh, pi values ni total sum cheyagaliginam ankonde then automatically you will get the molecules log p value so that we have discussing here so this contribution is known as the substituent hydrophobicity constant that is a pi and is a measure of how hydrophobic a substituent is relative is relative to hydrogen so partition coefficients are measured experimentally for the standard compounds such as benzene with and without substituent without substituent with the substituents calculate chesi we can easily identify that one so the hydrophobicity constant by x for a substituent x is then obtained using the following equation that is pi x is equal to log p x minus log p h so p h means that is a substitute without any substitution and p x is with substitution so you have here the pi x right so ph is a partition coefficient of the standard compound and px is the partition coefficient of the standard compound with the substituent so the partition coefficient p is a measure of the drug's overall hydrophobicity and is therefore an important measure of how the efficiently a drug is transported to its target and bound to its binding site right so how it is binding how it is transporting all these things will be depends on the partition coefficient that is a log p of a drug so the pi factor measures the hydrophobicity of a specific region on the drug's skeleton and if it is present in a qsr equation so it could emphasize the importance of hydrophobic interactions involving that region of the molecule with the binding site so apre em avutundi so skeleton main skeleton yokka capacity undu anukondi and hydrophobicity undu anukondi then it is good then dani meeda mer substituents evaithe add chestunnamo substituents capacity telisthe how much efficacy it will show or enta good interaction thodi ad bind avutundi enta possibility undi enta force of interaction ichu peyagalutundi enduku main molecule meeda interaction cap main molecule ki hydrophobicity nature undu anukondi added advantage is those functional groups అసలు మెయిన్ మాలిక్యూల్ కి హైడ్రోఫోబిసిటీ లేకపోతే ఏమవుతుంది ఆటోమేటిక్ గా అడిషనల్ మాయిడిస్ మీరు ఎన్ని సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ చేసినా లావ్ ఉండే రైట్ సో దాట్స్ వై ఇట్ ఈస్ క్వాంటిఫికేషన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ మెజర్మెంట్స్ దెన్ సో ఇక్కడ మీకు ఆల్్రెడీ మీ మీరు ఇంతకు ముందు చూసుకున్నారు ద పై వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ద పై ఎ రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ ద సబ్స్టిట్యూట్స్ సో ఎలిఫాటిక్ సబ్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ కి అరోమాటిక్ సబ్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ కి వాల్యూస్ ఎట్లా ఉంటాయి దెన్ యు హావ్ హియర్ ద లాగ్ పి ఆఫ్ ద బెంజీన్ అండ్ పైన ఉన్న టేబుల్ యు నో దట్ వన్ దట్ మిథైల్ గ్రూప్ రైట్ మిథైల్ గ్రూప్ aliphatic substituent uh, aromatic substituent okay aromatic aromatic meda substitute chesthe ento ento untadi aliphatic meda substitute chesthe etla untadi so you know that one the uh, para uh, means that is uh, benzamide another one is chlorobenzene right chlorine you have the 0.39 and 0.71 so based on that you have to check it if it is a chlorobenzene means aromatic substituent so normal 2.13 plus 71 0.71 you have the table so by that you will get the 2.84 as a log p of the chlorobenzene so like that you can easily find out all the things right and the next one electronic effects so ikkada electronic effects enduk important ane indha mundu enti hydrophobicity hydrophobicity unte enti drug entry and etla maintain avutundi whether it will enter into the uh, aqueous phase area body lo aqueous phase undi organic phase undi but aqueous phase area lo entry avutunda organic phase area lo enter avutundi so that it will decide so driving force of the drug is hydrophobic nature ante body lo drug ekkada varata akkada manam teeskunna tarvata ekkada varata akkada degutunda ante tirugutadi body mottham blood ekkada ekkada degutunda akkada degutundi but there is certain limitations so oka region ki oka log p value untadi aa log p unnatundi molecules maatrame ante aa log p value unna molecules maatrame aa barrier cross chesi veltayi antakante takku unte lo ekku unnayello oka certain periods 
certain zones certain values right andukane manam cross check chestuntam whether that should be uh, cns drugs isthama led normal body drugs uh, which type of drugs we are developing based on that we have to calculate the log p value that is hydrophobic constant right so next one is a electronic effect so the electronic effect of various substituents will clearly have an effect on drugs ionization or polarity so ionization ante enti drug ion ga convert avadu so body lo kellagane ionic state ochesind anukondi automatic em avutadi drug molecule neutral ga undi poyind anukondi ee body lo ekadam react avutada ekadam dan interaction upayogalutada chupiyadu ideal ga undi pothadu drug appu so it should have some efficacy towards or some ఏమంటాం మనకు దాని గట్టు కొంత యాక్టివిటీ ఇంటరాక్షన్ అనేది ఉండాలి ఎక్కడో దగ్గర బైండ్ అవ్వడానికి ఐదర్ అట్రాక్షన్ లేదా రిపల్షన్ ఏదో ఒకటి చూపించాలి ఏది చూపించకపోయి లేదనుకోండి ఇట్ ఈస్ రెడ్ వన్ రైట్ అందుకనేంటి అయోనైజేషన్ కానీ పొలారిటీ కానీ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఉందనుకోండి ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అయోనైజబుల్ సో నెగిటివ్ చార్జ్ ఫామ్ అయింది అనుకోండి ఆటోమేటికలీ ఇట్ విల్ అట్రాక్ట్ టువర్డ్స్ టు ద పాజిటివ్ చార్జ్ ఇన్ మైటీస్ రైట్ అమైనో యాసిడ్స్ బాడీలో ఫంక్షన్స్ ఎక్కడెక్కడ ఉన్నాయో అయాన్ ఛానల్స్ ఉంటాయి సో పాజిటివ్ అయాన్ ఏరియా రూట్ లో వెళ్ళిపోతుంది if it is the molecule is having positive ion and the charge ayind anukondi positive charge so automatically it will attract towards to the negative charge right so that's why and polarity so ekkado degara polarizable kavali molecule polarize ayinappudu it will have some driving force ekkada polarize kaledu drug molecule neutral ga undipoyind anukondi body lo etu function chupiyadu right so this will have an effect on how easily a drug can pass through cell membranes or how strongly it can interact with a binding site so that's why we require the electronic effects of the drugs right and the next one it is useful to measure the electronic effect of a substituent is known as the hammett substituent constant that is a sigma hammett substituent constant that is a sigma so measure of the electron withdrawing or electron donating ability of a substituent and has been determined by measuring the dissociation of a series of substituted benzoic acids compared with the dissociation of benzoic acid itself so benzoic acid to benzoic acid is the dissociation and the dissociation calculation method we will see that right so benzoic acid is a weak acid and only partially ionizes in water so the relative portion of these species is known as equilibrium or dissociation constant kh right so dissociation constant and kh means hydrogen elimination which signifies the hydrogen signifies the uh, substituent on the aromatic ring right so if x is an electron donating group then the aromatic ring is less able to stabilize the carboxylate ion co minus ed ayitundo carboxylate ion establish avadam less stable right so less stable so the equilibrium shifts towards to left indicating weaker acid with a smaller kx value right so aromatic ring having a strong electron withdrawing group and stabilizing influence on a carboxylic uh, carboxylate ion anion and so the equilibrium will shift more towards to the ionizing form electron withdrawing group und anukondi coh carb you know aromatic ring meeda so aromatic ring meeda uh, electron withdrawing group und anukondi automatic benzene ring is a pi excessive generally manam we can call it as a pi excessive ring electron efficient so electrons ekku untai so that electron dense will be attracted towards the withdrawing group so apu em avutundi benzene meeda i access the system ka sa deficient system kinda convert hoti so benzene ring whenever it goes into the deficient system so automatically it attracts or pulls back the different side unko side unna tane electron change chestu tana vaipu laagestundi appudu ad ekkadiki laagu untadi coh daggariki so coh daggariki laagu unna appudu em ayindi last whatever the hydrogen is there in a terminal point so that hydrogen will leave as a h plus so danukunna single electron ni coh ko odilesi ellipothundi because coo minus is more stable than cooh right and the two oxygens will have the negative charge of species right electrophilic points untai rendu kuda so avu em chestunayi rendu symmetrical undadam valle em avutundi oxygens rendu kuda negative charge ni bear cheyagalutundi okay so that's why hydrogen elimination will be more easy that so here you can see that one so hammett equation so electron withdrawing groups and electron donating group so donating group unna appude em avutundi manaku electron rich center ki electrons inka isthu pote co minus charge atlage untundi problem ledu but a distance between the carboxylate ion coo minus and h plus edaithundo distance ekku avutundi tappichi break kaaledu kuda 
ఎందుకు సివో మైనస్ లో ఎలక్ట్రాన్ డెన్స్ అనేది ఇంకా పెరుగుతూ ఉంది సో ఎలక్ట్రాన్ డెన్స్ పెరుగుతున్నా కదా హైడ్రోజన్ కావాల్సినటువంటి దట్ మ్యూచువల్ బాండ్ ఏదైతే ఉందో దట్ విల్ నాట్ బ్రేక్ రైట్ సో డిస్టెన్స్ హైడ్రోజన్ కి కొంచెం దూరంగా పెట్టుకుంటుంది తప్పించి హైడ్రోజన్ వదిలేదు వెన్ ఇక్కడ దీనికి ఎప్పుడైతే షార్టేజ్ వచ్చిందో అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తుంది హైడ్రోజన్ వదిలేసి హైడ్రోజన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ తీసుకొని స్టేబుల్ గా కూర్చుంటుంది ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద బెంజిన్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎనీ విత్ డ్రాయింగ్ గ్రూప్స్ రైట్ సో ద హ్యామెట్ సబ్స్టియంట్ కాన్స్టెంట్ సిగ్మా ఎక్స్ ఫర్ ఎ పర్టికులర్ సబ్స్టియంట్ దట్ ఎక్స్ ఇస్ డిఫైండ్ బైక్లో బిలో ఈక్వేషన్ రైట్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈక్వేషన్ సో సిగ్మా ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు లాక్ కేఎక్స్ బై కెహెచ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు లాక్ కేఎక్స్ మైనస్ kh so qsr studies uh, starts off by considering sigma and if there is more than one substituent the sigma values can be summarized to sum of sigma values right so another factor is a steric factor so mode factor manaki inta mundu first factor is uh, hydrophobic second factor is what is that electronic effect and the third one is steric factor so steric factor means the bulk size bulky size and the size of the molecule and shape of the molecule right if any kuda etla influence chestunnai drug meed ante drug a different size and shapes lo unte how it interacts into the body so barriers cross chestunda leda cheyadaniki possibilities unnaya leva so how easily it can cross chaala chinna size undu anukodu molecule mari bulk le bulkiness ledu steric size ledu స్మాల్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ మాలిక్యూల్ ఉంది అనుకోండి అప్పుడు ఏమైంది బాడీ మొత్తం ఎక్కడ పడితే అక్కడ తిప్పుతుంది ఓకే ఇప్పుడు మేము ఎంబడి కుక్క పడింది అనుకోండి దాన్ని కొట్టగలుగుతారు కానీ ఈగ పడింది అనుకోండి ఎంబడి కొట్టగలుగుతారా కుక్కనంటే కొట్టచ్చు కనపడుతుంది పెద్దగా ఉంటది కాబట్టి ఈగ కష్టం కదా సో సేమ్ సిచ్యువేషన్ ఇఫ్ ఎ స్మాల్ మాలిక్యూల్ ఉంది అనుకోండి బాడీలో ఎటుపడితే అది మూవ్ అయిపోతుంది సో కాబట్టి ఏంటి వి హ్యావ్ ఎ ఫిక్స్డ్ రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ ద సైజ్ సో మాలిక్యులర్ వెయిట్ కూడా ఒక రేంజ్ నుంచి త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ టు ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ మధ్యలో డాల్టన్స్ మధ్యలో అంటే మాలిక్యులర్ వెయిట్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ టు ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ మాలిక్యులర్ వెయిట్ ఉండాలి త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ కంటే తక్కువ టూ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ టూ హండ్రెడ్ టూ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ మధ్యలో ఉందనుకోండి డ్రగ్ మాలిక్యూల్ బాడీలో ఎక్కడ పడితే అక్కడ మూవ్ అయ్యే ఛాన్సెస్ ఉన్నాయి సో అటువంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ లేకుండా వీ హ్యావ్ టు గో విత్ సమ్ సర్టన్ ఆఫ్ ద బాడీ అదే ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అబౌవ్ అనుకోండి పెద్ద మాలిక్యూల్ ఉందనుకోండి అది బాడీలో ఎటుపడితే అటు మూవ్ అవ్వడానికి ఛాన్స్ ఉండదు ఆ బ్యారియర్స్ క్రాస్ కావు మెంబ్రెయిన్ బ్యారియర్స్ ఎప్పుడైతే ఇంటర్స్టైన్ నుంచి బ్లడ్ లోపలికి రావాలి బ్లడ్ నుంచి మజిల్ లోపలికి వెళ్ళాలి టిష్యూ లోపలికి వెళ్ళాలి బాడీలో సో ఈ బ్యారియర్స్ క్రాస్ అయ్యి డ్రగ్ పాస్ అవ్వలేదు సో అందుకోసం వీ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ ఎ స్పెసిఫిక్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ద డ్రగ్ సో స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ చెక్ చేస్తాయి రైట్ సో ద బల్క్ సైజ్ అండ్ షేప్ ఆఫ్ ద డ్రగ్ విల్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ హౌ ఈజీలీ ఇట్ కెన్ అప్రోచ్ అండ్ ఇంటరాక్ట్ విత్ ద మైండింగ్ సైట్ right after hydrolysis means we can see that one so bulky substituent may act a shield and hinders the ideal interaction between a drug and its binding site so alternatively a bulky substituent may help to orientate a drug properly for maximum binding and increase the activity so steric properties are more difficult to quantify than hydrophobic and electronic properties ఇది చాలా కష్టమైన పని అనమాట ఎందుకు ఎంత స్టీరిసిటీ ఉండాలి అనేటువంటి ఒక పర్టికులర్ పాయింట్ లో చెప్పలేం ఓకే సో సో వి హ్యావ్ హియర్ ద టాఫ్ట్ స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ దట్ ఈస్ ఈఎస్ సో ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఈఎస్ కెన్ బి ఒప్టైన్డ్ బై కంపేరింగ్ ద రేట్స్ ఆఫ్ హైడ్రాలసిస్ ఆఫ్ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ ఎలిఫాటిక్స్ ఎస్టర్స్ అండ్ అగెన్స్ట్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఎస్టర్ అండర్ ఎసిడిక్ కండిషన్ సో ఇక్కడ ఏంటంటే ఎలిఫాటిక్ ఎస్టర్స్ ని స్టాండర్డ్ ఎస్టర్ ని తీసుకొని వీ విల్ క్యాల్కులేట్ దట్ వన్ based on that we can some extent we can find out the taft steric factor of the information right so whereas kx is represents the rate of hydrolysis of an aliphatic ester bearing the substituent x and k not represents the rate of hydrolysis of the reference ester so that reference ester is x means that is a methyl group so substituting such as hydrogen and fluorine which are smaller than a methyl group and hydrogen and fluorine and methyl group can be small so result is a in a faster rate of hydrolysis and in the methyl can be hydrogen and fluorine can be small and what will happen is hydrolysis rate is equal so making es positive if you are small and small and methyl can be small then it will be automatically negative right so that is what we have done in the table values of the es for various substituents if the hydrogen is having 1.24 fluorine is uh, 0.78 so methyl is 0 
ఇథైల్ ఇంకా వల్కినెస్ ఉంది సో మైనస్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోయింది ప్రొఫైల్ పెద్దది ఇంకా ఏది మిథైల్ కంటే కూడా రైట్ సో అది ఇంకా మైనస్ లోకి వెళ్ళిపోయింది అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద ఎన్ బ్యూటైల్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నెగిటివ్ రైట్ సో ఇవేంటి సైజెస్ పెద్దగా ఉన్నా కొద్దిగా హైడ్రోలసిస్ రేట్ అనేది పడిపోతూ ఉంటుంది ఓకే అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ మోలార్ రిఫ్రాక్టివిటీ సో దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఎంఆర్ మోలార్ రిఫ్రాక్టివిటీ సో అనదర్ మెజర్ ఫర్ ద స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఈస్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ బై ద పారామీటర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ఎ మోలార్ రిఫ్రాక్టివిటీ ఆర్ ఎంఆర్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద మెజర్ ఆఫ్ ద వాల్యూమ్ ఇంత ముందు ఏమంటున్నాం బల్కినెస్ అంటున్నాం బట్ ఎంత బల్క్ ఎంత వాల్యూమ్ సో దాట్ వాల్యూమ్ ఈస్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో దాట్స్ వై వీఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఇయర్ మోలార్ రిఫ్రాక్టివిటీ సో వాల్యూమ్ ఆక్యుపైడ్ బై అన్ ఐటమ్ ఆర్ అ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఐటమ్స్ సో ఒక ఐటమ్ గానీ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఐటమ్స్ గానీ ఒక ఫంక్షనల్ గ్రూప్ గానీ ఎంత స్పేస్ ఆక్యుపై చేస్తున్నాయి వాల్యూమ్ ఎన్ని యాంగ్స్ట్రామ్ స్క్వైర్ యూనిట్ ఏరియాని ఆక్యుపై చేస్తున్నాయి సో దాట్ మోలార్ వాల్యూమ్ విల్ బి ఐడెంటిఫైడ్ హియర్ సో ద మోలార్ వాల్యూమ్ ఆర్ మోలార్ రిఫ్రాక్టివిటీ ఈజ్ అప్టైన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈక్వేషన్ దట్ ఎంఆర్ ఈజ్ ఇక్వల్ టు ఎన్ స్క్వైర్ మైనస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వైర్ ప్లస్ టూ ఇన్ టు మాలిక్యులర్ వెయిట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎండబ్ల్యూ బై డి ఈజ్ అ డెన్సిటీ right so the term mw by d is a volume of that one n2 minus 1 by n2 plus 2 so ee terms enti ante electrons parameters ni base chestunna we can calculate the pi electrons and lone pair of electrons what is significant enti entha space ni occupy chestune ipo oka atom undu ankonde daniki no electrons ni batti ipudu earth undi earth ku entha distance varaku deeni gravitational force undi oka certain distance untundi avuna ఆ డిస్టెన్స్ దాటిన తర్వాత ఎర్త్ యొక్క గ్రావిటేషన్ ఫోర్స్ పనిచేస్తుందా పనిచేయదు సేమ్ అదే విధంగా ఒక ఆటమ్ కి గాని ఒక మాలిక్యూల్ కి గానీ ఏదే గానీ దానికంటూ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ పారామీటర్స్ తీసుకున్నప్పుడు సమ్ రేడియస్ యాక్టివిటీ ఉంటుంది అంటే హైడ్రోఫోబిక్ రేంజ్ ఏంటి హైడ్రోజన్ బాండింగ్ ఇంటరాక్షన్ కి రేంజ్ ఎంత సో వండర్ బాల్స్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఉన్నటువంటి రేంజ్ ఎంత సో వన్ బై ఆర్ వన్ బై ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ వన్ బై ఆర్ క్యూబ్ అనేసి ద డిస్టెన్సెస్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇట్స్ న్యూక్లియస్ పాయింట్ so based on that a region lo kochinaapudu oka certain region if it is in the region of van der waals region und anukonda appudu it will show van der waals type of interactions if it is having hydrogen bond range means <coughs> atom size nunchi 1.1 or 1.2 or 2 angstroms distance varaku ochindi anukonda it will show some interaction if it is beyond that it will have some distance some interactions so it want when you enter the stereicity and the bulkiness undo based on the volume of the size మాలిక్యూల్ వాల్యూమ్ ని బేస్ చేసుకుని ఇట్ విల్ హ్యావ్ సమ్ సర్టన్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ సో అది మనం క్యాల్కులేట్ చేస్తాం రైట్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ వర్ లూప్ స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఇన్ దిస్ స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఏదైతే ఎంఆర్ ఉందో ఎంఆర్ లోనే ఇంకొకటి ఏంటి అంటే స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ సో అనదర్ అప్రోచ్ టు మెజర్ ద స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఇన్వాల్వ్స్ ఎ కంప్యూటర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ కాల్ స్టిరిమోల్ విచ్ క్యాల్కులేట్స్ ద స్టీరిక్ సబ్స్టిట్యూంట్ వాల్యూస్ సో వర్ లూప్ స్టీరిక్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ అను సో ఫ్రమ్ స్టాండర్డ్ బాండ్ యాంగిల్స్ కానీ వాటర్ వాల్స్ రేడియస్ కానీ బాండ్ లెంత్ గానీ పాసిబుల్ కన్ఫర్మేషన్స్ డిఫరెంట్ కన్ఫర్మేషన్స్ ఉంటాయి కదా సిసి సింగిల్ బాండ్స్ ఉన్నాయి అనుకోండి సిసి సింగిల్ బాండ్ ఈచ్ ఓడ్ ఎవర్ ద సింగిల్ బాండ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ అ ఫ్లెక్సిబుల్ నేచర్ మీన్స్ రొటేషన్ అయ్యే ఛాన్సెస్ ఉంది సో హౌ మచ్ రొటేషన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ రొటేషన్ ఉంది లేదు వన్ ఎయిటీ డిగ్రీ రొటేషన్ ఉంది లేదు నైంటీ డిగ్రీ రొటేషన్ ఉంది సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీ రొటేషన్ ఉంది సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద రొటేషన్ కెపాసిటీ సో హౌ మెనీ కన్ఫర్మర్స్ దేర్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఈస్ అ పాసిబిలిటీ టు జనరేట్ ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ కన్ఫర్మర్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద సింగిల్ బాండ్స్ right so apre enti number of confirmations untai based on the substituent so any confirmations unnai enta energy is unnai so based on that we can calculate the steric factors right so dan tarvata unnatvade physico chemical parameters lo we have the dipole moment or hydrogen bonding capacity or confirmations or interatomic distances so difficulties in quantifying these properties limits the use of these properties and the entity properties mana parameters ni calculate cheyadaniki certain equations gaani methods gaani available leave unna gude entante okka extent work cheyagalutun danikante pipe pole in situation right so several qsr formulas have been developed based on the highest occupied or lowest unoccupied means homo lumo calculations do or does to find out the test compounds so the calculations of these orbitals can be carried out using semi empirical quantum mechanics ganindi semi empirical methods ganindi molecular mechanics ganindi so different types of methods and mechanics used they say they will find out some calculations but those are not till now that much used right and next so types of method uh, types and methods used in qsr we have the different types of methods are available means two dimensional qsr three dimensional qsr com form com zia phase form form means comparative molecular field analysis comparative molecular similarity indices analysis and phase
and linear regression and multiple linear regressions and partial least square methods and you have the neural networks and support vector mechanics so these are the different new methods which are used it means these are all the statistical methods which are used in this qsr studies right so these are some of the advanced methods people are using so in older days means before 20 days uh, 20 years back you use you use only 2d qsr methods so now we are using ova comzr 3d qsr phase and mlrs pls and neural networks also we are using and svm methods also we are using and now we are having the different types of languages which are statistically super powered r and it went to language only that is purely statistical analysis purpose detailed data analysis ante mana qsr and gaane andi itondi data base chesko data ni base chesko work chese itondi analysis anedi we are using that r language right so now we have the application of hamet equation so the hamet equation in organic chemistry describes a linear free energy relationship that is lfer linear free energy relationship we can calculate here this one relating reaction rates and equilibrium constants for many reactions involving benzoic acid derivatives with meta and para substituents to each other with just two parameters so a substituent constant and a reaction constant based cheskoni we can calculate that linear free energy relationship so this equation was developed and published by uh, louis falk hamet in 1937 as a follow up to quanti qualitative observation qualitative observations in 1935 publication so the basic idea the basic idea is that for any two reactions with the two aromatic reactants only differing in the types of substituents the change in free energy of activation is proportional to the change in gibbs free energy so that is delta g so delta g is equal to minus rtl nk mana physics lo physical chemistry lo ostundi kada free energy calculations lo delta g calculation so delta g calculation based cheskonu we can calculate whether that is uh, exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction right the energy is absorbing or energy are releasing if it is releasing then that is called as exothermic delta based on the delta g right if it delta g is plus or negative means plus lo undu anukondi positive lo undu anukondi energy is released if it is a negative then that is absorbed so positive load it is exothermic reaction energy released reactions so that will be calculated so basic equation for hamet equation is log k by k not is equal to rho sigma or sigma rho right so these are the different uh, substituents you know that one that based on the substitute uh, para position and meta position substituents is dimethyl amino groups or amino group if it is in para position what is the effect of that substituent constant effect at long term thing and if it is in meta position how it is generally we will see when we are going to for synthesis so benzoic uh, normal you people know uh, mono substituted benzenes make first year lo ochuntad na gelisina varaku benzenes mono substituted benzenes so second benzene med inkoka moiety edana inkoka functional group gaana inkoka group substitute cheyali ante the driving force is the first which is substituent that one whether that is donating group or with triangle group based on that benzene med ortho meta para positions ortho meta para positions vastayi and electron donating group unda with triangle group dani batti ortho meta para positions lo charge accumulation anedi undi ante partial positive positions ekkada unde partial negative positions etla untayi so dani batti manam em antamu uh, ring activating groups and ring deactivating groups ni jadukuntam idea unda leda first year lo ochuntadi meek subject adi uh, aromatic rings lo benzene so mono substituted benzene di substituted benzene right so if it is a first substitution then what is the second position means ortho lo na para lo na meta lo na right because ortho para will have the one nature and meta will have one nature so that will be calculated here based on the effect of the substituent okay so another one is hanch analysis so relationship between biological activity and physical chemical parameters can be expressed through a linear equation of this type that is y is equal to a plus bx that is y is equal to mx plus c so different terms y is equal to mx plus c and term y is equal to a plus bx and term so where y is the biological activity a is the intercept and x is a physical chemical property and b is the slope or regression coefficient right so for qsr studies the uh, the equation one can be appropriately modified that 
log 1 by c the activity is equal to a plus b of log p means x place lo property pedutunnam log p so biological activity that is y is equal to mx plus c right so biological activity is expressed as logarithmic value of 1 by c means concentration where c is the molar concentration of the compound which gives the specific response as a ic50 inhibition concentration or lethal dose as a 50 means 50 percentage dosage capacity enta varaku undi ane right ic50 ld50 ec50 ed50 different uh, methods are there so it is essential to express the concentration in logarithmic scale because the right side of the equation contains the parameters which it, which is derived which are derived from logarithmic scale like log p pi sigma or electronic parameters as es and etc so avanni kuda enti manaku logarithmic scale lo untai kabatti then our activity also we should maintain in a logarithmic means lhs is equal to rhs right so dan kosam ani we will maintain that one into that and hans observed that the relationship between partition coefficient and activity is not always linear so a linear relationship is observed only when a range of partition coefficient steadies in small right activity cannot activity cannot increase indefinitely indefinitely with the increase in partition coefficient so after a certain limit there will be a decrease in the activity such a non linear relationship can be expressed as a parabolic equation parabolic means up elli malli down ostundi ante enti x value y value x uh, y value mana increase chestunnam x value increase chestunnam so oka certain extent ki ellin tarvata em avutundi x value me enta na penchina y value malli digipothundi so that parabolic expression so that's why it is called as a non linear equations and parabolic expression ochinappudu ante endi there is no there is non linear ante rendu x and y parameters rendu increase chestunnam pothe increase avutu undad annada after certain extent it will be decreased the y value will be decrease so at what particular point x a x point degree aithe peak reach ayi malli drop down avutundo that is a maximum limit antaku minchi manam penchadaniki a property chance ledhu so statistically better equations was derived with the parabolic model compared to a linear models so the significance so the significance of the equation is tested by using a number of statistical parameters most frequently used statistics for correlation coefficient r and uh, standard deviation methods from regression is s test and f test so s r f e v t test um potundi so r square statistics means correlation coefficient and regression coefficient both will be there so regression coefficient r square statistics give the fraction of the total variance in the data explained by the regression and the t test gives the significance of the coefficient so r values so under reproduction type of values gani t test standard st strength and the equation the and what they are if based on the statistics they will find out and they will go for that right so what are the significance of the slopes and intercept so slopes and intercept of the regression line so the slope indicates the steepness of a line and it's the intercept indicates the location where it intersects x axis an axis ekkada the axis ni intercept chestundo so what is that y is equal to mx plus c so what is the c c is the slope so where it is intersecting that one so at what particular point and equation whether that is a linear or parabolic type of nature so adi anedi manam based on that calculations so andukane entante slopes gaani intercepts gaani telisthe you can easily calculate the equation a model entha varaku standard anedi meer calculate chesi you can easily tell that right so different types of slopes are there so first one is lifting one so increasing uh, point and second one you can see the downfall of the x uh, on based on the x parameter and the third one is a zero th position means the slope is in zero oka stable mere em x parameters penchina kuda y parameter ekkada change raadu so that is a slope is zero and then you have the some sort of sometimes you will get a negative parameter and sometimes in a positive so if it is in a positive then that is a good if it is in negative also that is good but if it is in a slope is zero then that is not good right and you have here some variables how to find out that one so variables describes a specific point so what is m what is b here so m is a slope and v is a y intercept so how to calculate the slope is raise by run 
so you can calculate that one you have here the below the slope intercept form is there y is equal to mx plus c so m is equal to so 2 how it is 2 means y is equal to 2x plus the slope value how it is intersecting and intercept value you have the 3 as that one 0 comma 3 right so based on this you can easily identify what is what right here you can see that one the 2 is the intercept y value and slope m is the 3 by 1 means from 3 to 1 points so increment of the x is 1 and y value increment is 3 right so that's why it is called as a 3 by y means run by raise by run okay so another another one is a click uh, correct plot is there so visualizing the relative properties of different substituents by considering a plot where the y axis is the value of the sigma factor and the x is the sigma x is the value of the pi factor sigma factor of pi factor and it calculate just them so then that is if you render parameters will base just if you plot that one then that is called as a correct plot so correct plot uh, for the sigma and pi factors are para aromatic substituents based on that only you can identify easily so advantages of correct plot so the plot shows clearly that there is no overall relationship between the sigma and pi so sigma factor ki pi factor ki madhyalo overall relationship anedi ekkada meek kanapadu so the various substituents are scattered around all the four quadrants of the plots and then we have a graph you have the two uh, two positive means positive 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 negative 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 positive so four plots and type so four plots areas lo entante quadrants and lo uh, scatter ay unnai ante different different locations lo board unnai so positive points and negative point so like this so based on this there is no relationship in between all these parameters so okko okko type of functional group okko degara padundi so they okadaniki okadaniki meku link ledu correlation ledu right so anukane endante they will find out the scattered means the plot shows clearly the scattering of the information so it is possible to tell a glance with which substituent have positive sigma pi parameters which substituent have negative sigma pi right evaithe sigma pi negative unnai positive unnai a unnai evi ledu ani cheppadaniki tappichi evi ledu so it is easy to see which substituent have similar pi values and a okay, group of factors a kadu nai and a both positive negative not 20 pi values pi sigma values not 20 functional groups a location low nai so what ni manam based on this correct plot in the end a type of nature and not the plot check about the molecules new can use it means which are having similar type of nature and the pitchy there is no correlation in between all uh, groups away the new groups quadrants low not the groups low not 20 okay then go then go oral relationship in part we can easily with the two positives means sigma and pi values positive not one function group same thing rendu negative one and rendu negative positive one and positive negative one and what in the base just code if you want to change that means kada manaku cf3 s4 to undi cf3 undi cf3 place lo sf3 pettukochu chinna changes kanapadthe ledhu o cf3 kanapadutundi right iodine pettochu bromine pettochu chlorine pettochu you can see in a both positive side direction quadrant side so rendu positive positive side lo edey thundo quadrants lo observe cheyandi cf3 s4 to undi cf3 sf rendu pakka pakka unnai and ocf3 iodine ante meek iodine substitute chesinatundi functional group unnatundi edaina molecule undu ankonde ipudu chlorine fluorine bromine iodine itlanti vaadagurudu halogens drugs lo so kabatti em chestha aa place lo ink edaina pette possibility undu atavandi identify cheyadaniki paniki vastadi antaku vinch em ledhu right and another one is topless scheme this is a flow diagram actually topless scheme and end and it is a flow diagram manam synthesis chesina tondi molecules gaani based on the activities gaani how much active these are based on the main lead compound ki lead compound kante active ekku unda takku unda functional group enti so deen kante ekku unte active ent undi takku unte etla undi equal ga unte enti so based on the functional groups idi manam find out chestam right so two types of topless schemes are available one is aromatic substitution another one is aliphatic side chain substitution right so this is a scheme for aromatic substitution so first we have the uh, normal hydrogen and we have the four chloro substitution on the aromatic ring right so four chloro substitution na apude indi hydrogen gaani four fourth position chloro substitution unna kuda with the activity lo theedaled but if you change that one with the methoxy so automatic ay ayipindi Four chloro substitution can take a methoxy, ortho methoxy position. I may be that taking pain. 
అదే థర్డ్ పొజిషన్ లో క్లోరిన్ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ చేసేసరికి ఏమైంది యాక్టివిటీ కొంచెం పెరిగింది అండ్ క్లోరిన్ ప్లస్ లో మిథైల్ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ చేసిన హైడ్రోజన్ ఉన్నా క్లోరిన్ ఉన్నా కూడా కామన్ గా ఉండిపోయింది అంటే నార్మల్ గా ఉండింది సో లైక్ దాట్ యూ కెన్ ఈజీలీ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ వేర్ యూ విల్ గెట్ హైయర్ యాక్టివిటీ మాలిక్యూల్స్ వేర్ యూ విల్ గెట్ లోయర్ యాక్టివిటీ మాలిక్యూల్స్ right so this will describe the topless scheme a topless scheme will describe the more active molecules and less active molecules means comparatively ante that is completely negative one lemo so comparatively one specific molecule can be ekku unnaya takku unnaya that we can easily find out based on this topless scheme okay and this is of uh, side chain means aliphatic side chain undi isopropyl groups gaani endi ledu cyclopentyl pentyl groups gaani endi leda ch2cl gaani cf3 gaani ch2cf3 gaani so cyclobutyls gaani cyclopropyls gaani tertiary butyls gaani normal methyl substitution ki isopropyl ki migilina vaatiki cyclohexyl gaani endi so based on the substitution activity is increasing or decreasing this is explanation overall explanation explanation of how the activity is increasing and how the activity is decreasing so enta work increase ayya chance undi enta work decrease ayya chance undi ante a functional groups manam vaadukochu vaadukodaniki raad so that will explain in this area right so here you can see so benzene sulfuramide groups unnai so vallu synthesize chesiru synthesize chesina ga based on the topless scheme they have explained the order of synthesis first one is hydrogen they have synthesis then they have gone for uh, four chloro position so that is more active then they have started whether is it possible to introduce another chlorine at uh, third position so that whenever they when they have introduced the chlorine at third position so automatically activity was less first table lo meer observe cheyandi first hydrogen then activity nor emi ledu chlorine fourth position undi sulfuramide lo right chlorine add cheyagane em ayindi fourth position parachloro position raagane activity ochindi and parachloro undi kabatti third position lo kuda ante meta parachloro meta parachloro dichloro ochindi ankonde activity perugutada tagutada anukunnaru but em ayindi four chloro single chloro kante dichloro ku vachariki ante activity padipoyindi so em chesiru itla kaadu ani em chesiru bromine add chesiru fourth position chlorine ki badalu bromine add chesiru sir appude em ayindi malli activity normal ku vachesindi pedda teda em ledhi but when they have introduced the nitro nitro group introduced jay gane ayi pindi activity first four stages kante kuda highest elephant so that one is a high potent one so same thing kind of not one of the molecular it unda chudandi akkada kuda benzene meda substitute chesina pude em ayi pindi hydrogen gane fourth chlorine gane methoxy gane chloro gane ochche sarki em ayindi ikkada substitution lo meeku three chloro right meta chloro ki heavy activity ochindi meta bromo ki ochindi and meta and 3 5 dichloro ki vachindi but 4 chloro ki activity raledu so that is a difference to find out based on the top list scheme so manaki enti synthesis meeku direct chestundi ante ante you can easily find out the synthetic group so where to substitute and what to substitute right so after that we have the bioisosters bioisosters ante enti the bioisosters is a molecule resulting from the exchange of an atom or a group of atoms with an alternative or broadly we can say that similar atom or group of atoms manam inta mundu quadrates point chusukundam kada akkada same quadrate point ante enti ikkada chudandi oka location lo unnatundi positive positive sigma pi values unnay ankonde vaatini manam teesukochcha ledha oka group of moieties unnay ankonde then we can use it ante similarities unte we can use it so that we are predicting here right so the object of bioisosteric replacement is to create a new molecule with a similar biological properties right to a parent molecule so parent molecule kante adi enta varaku enti anedi we can easily explain so the bio bioisosteric uh, replacement may be physical chemically or topologically based so the replacement can attenue to, uh, attenuate toxicity modify the activity of a lead or alter the pk value or toxicity uh, toxicity of the lead molecule pk means pharmacokinetic property so pharmacokinetic property in alternate cheyadani gani activity ni increase cheyadani gani lead molecule kosam and toxicity ni alter cheyadaniki oka vela toxicity undu ankonde so dan reduce chesukodaniki so attenuate so dan alter chesukodaniki possibility enti etla undi so toxicity levels ni lead molecule nunchi reduce cheyadaniki etla so vaati kosam bioisosters ni vaadta bioisosters means similar unnatundi similar nature unnatundi molecules which are useful to 
రీప్లేస్ ద మెయిన్ వన్స్ ఆన్ ఎల్ లీడ్ రైట్ సో ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ మీరు చూడొచ్చు సో ఐసీ ఫిఫ్టీ వాల్యూస్ ఎట్లా ఉన్నాయి ఎంఐసీ ఫిఫ్టీ వాల్యూస్ సో హై సాల్యుబుల్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి అన్ని కూడా చాల్కోన్ మోయిటీస్ రైట్ ఆల్ఫా బీటా అన్సాచురేటెడ్ కార్బనైల్ కాంపౌండ్స్ రైట్ కీటోన్స్ ఆల్ఫా బీటా అన్సాచురేటెడ్ కీటోన్స్ వీటిని చాల్కోన్స్ అంటాం డయరైల్ చాల్కోన్స్ అంటాం అంటే ఏంటి మధ్యలో ఉన్నటువంటి సిఓ సి డబుల్ వాన్ సి ఇదైతే మోయిటీ ఉందో దట్ ఈస్ ఏ ఆల్ఫా బీటా అన్సాచురేటెడ్ కీటోన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఏ చాల్కోన్ సో దానికి టూ సైడ్స్ టూ ఫినాయిల్ గ్రూప్స్ ఉన్నాయి బెన్జీన్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో బెన్జీన్స్ మీద సబ్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ ఉన్నాయి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దాట్ సబ్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హౌ ద యాక్టివిటీ ఈస్ చేంజింగ్ హౌ ద యాక్టివిటీ ఈస్ changing so is there any possibility to change that one <coughs> so ikkada em ayindi kinda left side chudandi observe cheyandi you have the hydrogen hydrogen place lo deuterium ni gaani fluorine ni gaani vaadachu if it is there oxygen oh groups unnay ankonde alcoholic groups so alcoholic oh groups unte then you can replace with nh2 and sh right means the alcohol and thioalcohol those are the similar ones same thing you can go with the మిథైల్ గ్రూప్స్ మిథిలీన్ గ్రూప్స్ ఉన్నాయి సిహెచ్ టూ సో మిథిలీన్ గ్రూప్స్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏంటి ఆ ప్లేస్ లో వీ కెన్ యూస్ ద ఆక్సిజన్ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ వీ కెన్ గో విత్ నైట్రోజన్ ఎన్హెచ్ ఆర్ వీ కెన్ గో విత్ ఎస్హెచ్ సేమ్ థింగ్ ఫినాయిల్ గ్రూప్స్ ఉన్నాయి అనుకోండి యూ కెన్ గో విత్ పిరిడిన్ ఆర్ థయోఫీన్ ఆర్ నైట్రోజన్ హైట్రోసైక్లిక్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ థింగ్ యూ కెన్ రీప్లేస్ దాట్ వన్ రైట్ సో పైన మూడు డెరివేటివ్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఒక్కసారి అబ్జర్వ్ చేయండి యూ హ్యావ్ దట్ వన్ the first one is with the minimum inhibition concentration of 20 micromolars that is low solubility and bactericidic so minimum inhibitory concentration 20 micro micromolars unnai and if you change the chlorines and oxygen with uh, carbo- carboxylate and bromines changes chesam anukunte chlorines place lo bromine alcohol place lo carboxylic acid formation coh if pettina pudu em ayindani mic value 2 ki padipoyi అంటే ఎంత పెరిగింది టెన్ టైమ్స్ దాని యాక్టివిటీ పెరిగింది టెన్ టైమ్స్ హై సాలిబిలిటీ అండ్ బ్యాక్టీరియో స్టాటిక్ అండ్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో విత్ క్లోరిన్స్ బ్రోమిన్స్ కి బదులు ట్రైఫ్లోరో కార్బన్స్ వాడాం సిఎఫ్ త్రీస్ వాడాం అనుకోండి అప్పుడు ఏమైంది ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ బ్యాక్టీరియో స్టాటిక్ విత్ హై సాలిబిలిటీ రైట్ అండ్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో చేంజ్ ఇన్ ఎంఐసి వాల్యూ ఓకే అండ్ సేమ్ థింగ్ యూ కెన్ సీ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో కింద బ్లూ రింగ్ ఏదైతే బెన్జిన్ ఉందో దాని ప్లేస్ లో థయో సబ్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ right so same similar activity similar nature chupistundi but change of the ring size that it chesina the activity entho koncha changes vastai toxicity ranges tagutai so like this these moieties are called as a bio isosceles which are useful in replacement this means substituent change changes chesukodaniki useful ayyatvante function groups ni manam bio isosceles antam right and free wilson is another approach we can calculate here biological activity of a parent structure is measured then compared with the activities of a range of substituent analogs done in a free wilson approach to calculate the qsr methods right an equation is then derived which relates the biological activity to the presence or otherwise a particular substituent x1 to xn x1 to xn means number of x variables n n is coach no matter x1 x2 x3 x4 number of variables and the result so that is a free wilson approach so in this equation xn is defined as an indicator variable and is the value of 1 or 0 depending on the whether the substituent present or absent substituent unna lekapoyinda unda leda anne dani patti base cheskonu we can calculate so the contribution that each substituent makes to the activity is determined by the value of kn so z is a constant representing the average activity of the structure studied so this particular this is particularly useful when trying to quantify the effect of unusual substituents that are not listed in the tables or when quantifying specific molecular features which cannot be tabulated so that is advantage in this approach is the large number of analogs which have to be synthesized and tested to make the equation meaningful so another disadvantage is the difficulty in rationalizing that results and explaining why substituent at a particular position is good or bad for activity oka position lo substitute chesina atuvanti moiety functional group substitute cheyadam valla whether that will show good activity or bad activity enduku enti anatuvanti particular informations anedi ee method lo manaku information raavatledu andukandi nenu ekku matu use cheyadu right so different types of molecular descriptors are there so different analysis are there so zero dimensional means zero d descriptors are there means constitutional and count based descriptors and the number of carbons number of hydrogens 
right number of bonds atla and if it is a 1 1d descriptors those are list of structural fragments and fingerprints and two dimensional is graph variants right 3d descriptors such as 3d morse descriptors wim descriptors or gateway different quantum chemical descriptors size and sphere factors and surface areas volume based descriptors right so 4d 5d 6d and different types of descriptors analysis right? so if you go with the 6d descriptors then you have to calculate almost 300 to 400 types of properties at a time right so these are the different types of descriptors we can see that one so different types of fingerprints are there different types of analysis will be there okay so fingerprint means molecule uh, one dimensional representation and that so that is called as a fingerprint okay so based on that structure representation so how many types of structural representations are available so we have the three types of structural representations are available so one is uh, first is one dimension two dimension three dimension so one dimension mean that is so we have the smile notation that is a simplified molecular input line entry system right that is called as a smile smi le smile sandam so one dimension ccc and rcc small atom based representation system so that is a 1d and another one is 2d that is mana board meeda gaani notebook lo gaani rasa tvandi method ide athundo structure that is a 2d and another one is 3d means each and every atom in three dimensional space lo ekkada undi according to the bond angle bond length torsion so ivanni calculate chesi orientation fix chese then that is called as a three dimensional representation of the molecule right so 1d 2d 3d you can see here in three dimensional representation you will have the molecular surface area and dense area dilustundi volume occupied dilustundi avanni dilustundi so this is a hierarchy of the structural representations and these are the different types of formats that is a mol format molecular orientation format so it depends on the acid your molecular orientation language lo rasindi so here you can see so this is a one method and this is one method this is a mol2 and this is a pdb so ikkada which i get here to here you have the mol format ikkada mic xyz coordinates unde cartesian coordinate system antam dinni so ikkada cartesian coordinate system ku vachinaapudu x point y point z point undi but whenever you go for a mol2 format then here you have the representation of the tripos type of model means carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 and then afterwards what are the bonds means 1 to 1 bond 1 to 2 bond 1 to 3 bond what is a 1 to 1 is a angle 1 to 3 is a angle 2 1 3 is a angle so at the angle and bond ne representation chestundi and four atoms vache sariki enti dihedral angle representation and another one is a pdb format so where the atoms will be defined with uh, hetero atoms or non hetero atoms or so what is the connectivity how it is there so three types of formats you can see here small format small two format and pdb format of the single benzoic acid molecule so change will be there okay right so dan tarvata manaku unnatundi entante protein protein uh, is also having the pasta format that is also another file format means molecular format representation format so this is called as a fast alignment format one dimension fast alignment format means each and every amino acid will have the two types of representations one is a uh, single letter type of representation another one is a three letter code representation so alanine und ankonde three letter representation osthe a l e antam single letter representation unnapudu a antam so that is a single letter and three letter uh, representation of the amino acids right so till now we have completed our the ligand based concepts right then we have to start with the structure based representing concept so here we have the most important concept in this structure based that is a homology modeling so why we use the homology modeling concept is whenever you want to go for homology in ligand based concept you have the method called qsr method right in drug designing concept if it is of structure based here you have the concept called docking analysis so what is docking means docking means uh, the placing of a small molecule into the macro molecule macro molecule is a protein small molecule is a ligand placing of this small mi micro molecule into the macro molecular position so in position lo pettina appudu edaithe interaction means small molecule ki protein ki madhye lo unde tante interaction means interaction means either it may be repulsion or may be attraction both sides attraction undochu repulsion undochu so that will be calculated here so that is called as a docking methodology 
So, doctor methodology gavali and kuna printi. You have to go with the two types of you know, means two informations in a three dimension space. Structural information from the molecule, the protein, the molecule ki structure information at la, you can draw the molecule, but you cannot draw the protein molecule. Protein even a draw jet and draw only small molecule in a draw jet. So, for that, if you don't have any three dimensional structure of the protein, then we have to go with the term, uh, method called as a homology modeling by using a homologous or comparative method. We can design or we can draw or we can develop a three dimensional structure of the. Protein. So that way it is the most most important thing or most important procedure in drug designing concepts that is structure based in structure based drug designing concepts the homology modeling is a most important because whenever you don't have any three dimensional protein information for a docking processor. So right. So alternative term for homology modeling is called as a comparative modeling. So comparative modeling and in the quantum want to a protein structure template that is good. And a model that is called in one of one dimension sequence in structure to convert just and that is called as a comparative modeling. and homology modeling in the quantum homologous and similar or not one thing that is going on. Similarity would not want to protein with these coni, Managaruna one dimension protein structure layered for the protein in the Dani developed chest and gravity that is called as a homologous or homology modeling and comparative modeling. Right? These two terms will be available there. So the aim of this is to build a three dimensional model for protein of unknown structure. So that is a target based based on one or more related proteins and also a minor protein single protein over the Rikin and Kuni Dani based just can develop. Well, a single circle then you have to see one or two, two or three structures which are having parts of similarity. Up base just one, we can develop a single model. So important conditions for getting a useful model are that the similarity between the target sequence and the template structure is detectable, and that the correct alignment between them can be constructed. And similarities undali correct construction unte alignment correct unte then it is easy to construct a model right so this approach to structure prediction is possibly because a small change in the protein sequence usually result in a small change in its three dimensional structure so for that we can go with the conceptual relation uh, a simple problem is one dimension sequence to three dimension structure so one dimension sequence and amino acid number names right and three dimensional structure get like convert share. So three types of methods we have that is homology modeling or comparative modeling. Another one is fold recognition or thread, threading and down. And third one is abinshio method. And abinshio method and DNT a 20 uh, starting uh, protein lane up group. We can go with different types of templates, these only different free methods use JC. We can develop that one. And the okay structure and base just one common base just one develop chain. So we can go with multiple. Right, homology modeling and similar or not, but a sequence similar structures. So, so practically very useful and requires a structural homologous. Well, I tried homologous lake of both, then we will go with abinshu method. And another one is fold recognition. It is a many unrelated proteins share the same structural fold. And okay, recommended alpha helix on together, strings laga, turns on day. So, okay, recommended turns and the amino acids on now then functionality same on Right, so then the base just going to the folds of the just going then threading is going to So, find out chess quality. We have to go with conserved regions and a similarity on the sequences and the other way. Chess coni are the a structure long the good other than a convert just coni that is a fold recognition uh, and the standard method, but only standard method is comparative only only right. And so, different steps and the inflow involved in it steps such as in the, the most important steps. So, to create a homology model as uh, follows is identify a structural homologue means a common evolutionary origin. A common evolution, evolutionary origin and the same uh, species, gani, right? Same uh, ancestral proteins, gani, right? So, at what you select just kundam. So, common evolution that the region which was the origin which at what the proteins identify just kundam homologous to find out just them. So, selection of structural homologous used as a templates for modeling. So, common ancestors say with the type what the these kundi work up just them, right? And the third method is alignment of the template with the protein sequence and a one dimension sequence in a three dimensional model to the comparison alignment method either to the alignment chase we can find out. And then we will submit those informations, those both two informations to the model building software. So, I don't know what hand over just on the alignment to a three dimensional structure. These kill what hand over chassis we can give it for model building. 
and then afterwards whatever the model comes out from that software that will be refined and evaluated so evaluation chesi emana changes unte corrections emana do we'll go with the model refinement methods right so in this the first and often very difficult step is to identify a proper structural homology and a proper correct suitable and similar one homology to find out cheyadame indilo kashtamaina pani right so identifying several homologs uh, is usually carried out with the help of the blast method untundi uh, which is provided by the us government national institute of health and national health as uh, the us government undu vallu develop chesina methods avi ncba anatundi site undi site server lo they have the blast the basic local local alignment search tool so it will run based on the pam and blossom matrix untai so matrix method statistics uh, methods calculate chesi it will provide you the similarity indices so entha varaku idi similar entha varaku kaadu so a similarity based meda you will get a information based on that you have to select the which one is having good ones right so this is accuracy and difficulty levels so do you know what method gaani threading gaani indi you can go with the comparative modeling so difficulty etla untadi model evaluation etla untadi validity enti anedi you can easily find out this one so homology modeling is more reliable than other methods right but you can always find similar sequences of known structures manaka avi dorikite you can easily develop doraka led ankonde it is difficult all right and the second one the selection of structural homologs is the second step so structural homologs find out jeda anke endante percentage of sequence identity similarity with the target sequence and resolution of the protein structure endukada protein eppudaithe xrd chestam x ray crystallography diffraction chestaro akkadu nunchi vachinatundi protein quality resolution entha undi dani vatti kuda mana standard protein iskonni mana model develop chesthe mana model kuda standard undu adi standard led ankonni model mana model automatically standard undu so right so that is most important of selection so a structural homology select cheyadam anedi chaala most important right and the third step is alignment of the target sequence with the template sequence ante targets either the protein or the protein structure ni first we will convert into sequence then that sequence will be aligned with our query sequence mana sequence mana edha model ledho aa sequence toti compare chesi alignment chesi then we will submit all these two information so alignment cheyadaniki we will use the cluster w it is a dynamic programming so alignment chesinaka enta align ayindi enta kaaledu anetondi information it will provide that right so then afterwards we have the uh, steps involved in homology modeling identifying related structures and template selection alignment and building model and evaluation if model is not okay then you have to go again with the selection of the criteria or selection of the template ekado degar malli change cheskovali we have to go with this is called as a inductive learning methods if model is okay then you have to end the work right and next these are the different types of scenarios so different methods and target se- target sequence template recognition alignment uh, and backbone generation loop modeling side chain modeling model optimization and model validation so these are the different steps or stages involved in homology modeling concept right so model evaluation and refinement you people have the ramchandran map generally so it is important to demonstrate that the structural features of the model are res- reasonable uh, in terms of what is known about protein structure in general ante protein structure perfect ga build ayinda kaledha so what are the criteria correctness enta correct undi so is there any parameter to uh, means judge that correctness of the structure or not so main chain confirmation is acceptable region in the ramchandran map and planarity of the peptide units and side chain confirmations that corresponds to the rotamers library so structural rotamers evaithune rotamers ki library undi oka structural store untundi aa store nunchi they will find out the informations how much similarities and how much correct it is and hydrogen bonding of polar atoms if they are buried buried means kanapadukunna unnatundi hydrogen bonding informations atoms evaithune ante that will be open up and proper environments for hydrophobic and hydrophilic residues so hydrophobic and hydrophilic regions evaithe residues unnayo aa residues ante meeku manaku unnatundi anni amino acids lo acidic untayi basic untayi hydrophobic untayi hydrophilic untayi neutral untayi so what environment anedi perfect ga proper ga develop ayinda kaledha so the program that provides the structural analysis of along with the output of the useful is called as a verify 3d or ramchandran plot so verify 3d will be find out uh, finding of the information of the structural similarity means structural development three dimension to one dimension conversion it will convert into 3d to 1d and it will find out the range 
సో వెదర్ ఈస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అబౌ ద రేంజ్ ఆర్ బిలో ద రేంజ్ ఆర్ విత్ ఇన్ ద రేంజ్ అది మనకు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేస్తుంది వెరిఫై త్రీ డీ అండ్ రామ్ చంద్రన్ ప్లాట్ విల్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ద ఫైవ్ అండ్ సై యాంగిల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద అమైనో యాసిడ్స్ యూ కెన్ సీ హియర్ సో రామ్ చంద్రన్ ప్లాట్ విల్ కార్బన్ నైట్రోజన్ అండ్ పెప్టైడ్ లింకేజ్ ఏదైతే మన సిఎన్ అండ్ సిసి బాండ్స్ ఉంటాయో ఆ బాండ్స్ మధ్యలో ఉన్నటువంటి డిస్టెన్స్ అండ్ రొటేషన్స్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో యాంగిల్స్ ని బేస్ చేసుకుని ఇట్ విల్ జనరేట్ ఫైవ్ అండ్ సై యాంగిల్స్ సో ఫైవ్ అండ్ సై యాంగిల్స్ జనరేట్ చేసినప్పుడు ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హాల్ఫింగ్ ఆల్ఫా హెలిక్సా బీటా షీట్సా లేదా రైట్ హ్యాండ్ హెలిక్సా లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ హెలిక్సా హెలిక్స్ టర్న్స్ ఉంటాయి రైట్ హ్యాండ్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సో టర్న్స్ బేస్ చేసుకుని విచ్ టర్న్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎ రామ్ చంద్రన్ బ్లాట్ అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎ రెడ్ రీజియన్స్ అండ్ ఎల్లో రీజియన్ రెడ్ ఈస్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ అక్సెప్టబుల్ ఎల్లో ఈస్ అక్సెప్టబుల్ రీజియన్స్ అండ్ అదర్ దాన్ దాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అక్సెప్టబుల్ రీజియన్ సో ఆ విధంగా ఆ రీజియన్స్ లో ఫైవ్ సై యాంగిల్స్ ని ప్లాట్ చేసుకున్నప్పుడు రెడ్ రీజియన్ లోకి వచ్చినాయి అనుకోండి కంప్లీట్లీ అక్సెప్టబుల్ ఎల్లో రీజియన్స్ మీన్స్ ఓకే నో ప్రాబ్లం ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ వైట్ రీజియన్ దెన్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ మోడల్ టు గుడ్ రైట్ సో లైక్ దట్ విల్ సీ సో హెలిక్స్ అండ్ షీట్స్ ఎట్లా ఫామ్ అవుతాయి సో షీట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఎ ప్యారల్ స్టేట్ హెలిక్స్ ఆర్ టర్న్స్ కంప్లీట్లీ సో యూ టర్న్స్ ఉంటాయి రైట్ యూ టర్న్స్ ఉంటాయి హెలిక్స్ రింగ్స్ లాగా ఉంటుంది స్ప్రింగ్ టైప్ లో హెలిక్స్ షీట్ టర్న్స్ సో త్రీ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ విల్ బి అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ దాట్ ప్రోటీన్ ఓకే సో దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గో ఫర్ ఎ డాకింగ్ అనాలిసిస్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు గో విత్ డాకింగ్ మెథడ్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు బీ కేర్ఫుల్ విత్ త్రీ ప్యారామీటర్స్ వన్ ఇస్ అ ప్రోటీన్ అనదర్ వన్ ఇస్ అ లైగ్ అండ్ another one is third one is the active site active site means where the substrate means the molecule will go and binds if it ekkada ite drug molecule elli bind avvalo a binding location is it then that is that is called as a active site right so in biology the active site is a region of an enzyme where substrate molecule binds and undergoes a chemical reaction so the active site consists of the amino acid residues that forms a temporary bonds with the substrate and residues that catalyze a reaction of that substrate so catalytic site is it so that site is or binding site where the functionality will rise so that particular point is called as an active site so it is the most important part as it directly catalyze the chemical reaction and it is useful usually consist of the three or four amino acids while other amino acids within the protein are required to maintain the tertiary structure of the protein or enzyme so each active site is a world to be optimized to bind a particular substrate and catalyze a particular reaction resulting in high specificity so this high specificity is determined by the arrangement of the amino acids within the active site and the structure of the substrates right so structure of the substrates so ikkada chusarki different types of man uh, active site methods unnai so sometimes enzymes also need to bind with some cofactors to fulfill their function so cofactors bind out untai ledha ligands kavach even as correct and function fulfill kavadaniki cofactors also so the active site is usually a groove or a pocket of the enzyme which can be located in the deep tunnel deep tunnel means internal point out chesinattu an internal untundi deep tunnel lo so within the enzyme or between the interfaces of the multiple enzymes ante in between rendu protein lu unnay anukondi rendu enzymes ni aa madhyalo tunnel gap edaithe undo aa gap lo gaani amana cavity cavity undi ledha itlo fold ayinatundi dantlo local side anna inter so that is a pocket or a groove antam tunnel type shape lo local cavity anedi develop ayi so an active site can catalyze a reaction repeatedly as residues are not altered at the end of the reaction సో అమైనో యాసిడ్స్ ఎప్పుడు ఎవరికైతే ఆల్టర్నేట్ కావో ఆల్టర్డ్ కావో అప్పటి వరకు దాని ఫంక్షనాలిటీ క్యాటలైజేషన్ చూపిస్తూ ఉంటుంది సో దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇస్ అచీవ్డ్ బై లోరింగ్ ద యాక్టివేషన్ ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ సో మోర్ సబ్స్ట్రేట్స్ హ్యావ్ ఎనఫ్ ఎనర్జీ టు అండర్గో దిస్ రియాక్షన్ సో క్యాటలిటిక్ సైడ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ యాక్టివ్ సైడ్ ఆర్ క్యాటలిటిక్ సైడ్ సో వన్స్ ద సబ్స్ట్రేట్ ఈస్ బౌండ్ అండ్ ఓరియంటెడ్ టు ద యాక్టివ్ సైడ్ క్యాటాలిసిస్ కెన్ బి హిట్ right so the residues of the catalytic site are typically very close to the binding site and some residues can have dual role in both binding and catalysis sometimes we will find the cavities like catalytic as well as the binding rendu rendu dual roles play chese vidham untai konni saarlu enti only catalytic site untundi adjacent lo binding site untundi right so catalytic residues of the site interact with the substrate to lower the activation energy of the reaction and thereby make it proceed faster reaction faster avadaniki catalytic site anedi encourage chestundi so atuvantappudu enti adjacent site untundi lowering of activation energy 
so they do this by a number of different mechanism including the approximation of the reactants nucleophilic electrophilic or catalysis and acid base catalysis based right so at one of the different types of methods and like the allosteric sites means those are not positive ones and the, those are not actual sites allosteric sites means those are not the actual but it will trig right an allosteric site is a site of an enzyme unrelated to its active site which can bind an effector molecule so this interaction is another mechanism of enzyme regulation so cofactor 7 and which bind line and then cavity size march come to the different size lo telugu so automatically ante mana gals molecule is kocha adopt cheyachu so allosteric modifications usually happens in proteins with the more than one sub units so multiple sub units unte em avutundi ante manam oka degara bind chesthe plug chesina kuda akada aipothayi so unko kuda achi bind ayya chance undi ante shape of the structure anedi maaripothadu konni saari atvanta appude em avutundi manaku we can alter the function also right so allosteric interactions are often present in metabolic pathways and are beneficial in that they allow one, one step of the reaction to regulate the another step ante oka step ni regulate chesi inko step ki elthundi ante the pitch at a time multiple steps run out so they allow an enzyme to have a range of molecular interactions so other than the highly specific active site so ikkada meeku two types of methods kanapadutunnai paina a and b undi a lo e yellow color vachesi enzyme a and a is the active site and c is the substrate binding and we have the e is enzyme right b is the allosteric site so ikkada em avutundi manaku b allosteric site ni cofactors vachi substrate vachi bind aina kuda allosteric site em avvatledu but kind the example lo observe cheyandi eppudaithe d inhibitor vachi bind aindho automatic em ayipoyindi substrate binding ki space lekunda poyindi ante indi it has changed its orientation ante appude enti substrate bind avvadaniki possibility ledu right akkada paina first example em ayindi cofactor substrate edaithe substrate undo cofactor vachi bind aina kuda కింద ఉన్న క్యావిటీ మారట్లేదు బి యాక్టివ్ సైట్ అలస్టేరిక్ సైట్ ఏదైతే ఉందో అది మారట్లేదు బట్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద ఇన్హిబిటర్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఇంటరాక్టెడ్ విత్ ద అలస్టేరిక్ సైట్ సో ఆటోమేటిక్ ఏమైపోయింది మన సబ్స్టేట్ బైండ్ అవ్వడానికి యాక్టివ్ సైట్ కి ఛాన్స్ లేకపోయింది రైట్ సో ఇట్లాంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఉంటాయి సో స్ట్రక్చరల్ సిమిలారిటీస్ చేంజెస్ చిన్న చిన్న చేంజెస్ ఉన్నాయి అనుకోండి అలస్టేరిక్ సైట్స్ లలో సో అవి కంప్లీట్లీ స్ట్రక్చర్ ని మోడిఫై చేస్తాయి అందుకని చూసి హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ దాట్ ఓకే and the concept last one is called as a molecular docking so docking is a computer aided drug designing concept can be broadly classified into receptor based methods and ligand based methods you know that one so receptor based methods or structure based methods make use of structures as the target of the protein and ligand based methods is known based on the known inhibitors right so docking is a computational determination of the binding affinity between the two molecules and given a protein and ligand protein and a ligand find out the binding free energy of the complex formed by the docking so complex free energy complex formed in the free energy calculation and the delta g of protein and delta g of energy of ligand and complex energy so but automatically you will you should get the minus value negative energy ra the complex energy high untundi and individual molecules means protein and ligand energy takkunde so automatically you will get the negative value right so here you have the receptor based methods and ligand based methods so already we have discussed this one uses of the 3d structure target okay so different methods of the ligand based strategy ko sir ke you have to use with the target of the ligand based methods make use of the information provided by the known inhibitors of the target receptor <coughs> so structural structures are similar to the known inhibitors are identified from chemical databases by variety of the methods and akada enti screening methods untai different uh, different varieties of the screening methods are available so some of the methods widely used for uh, used are similarity and substructure searching pharmacophore matching and uh, 3d shape matchings so numerous successful applications of ligand based methods have been reported in this area It means in this ligand based strategy so same thing if you go with the receptor based methods uses of the 3d structure of the targets uh, receptor to search for the potential candidate of the compounds so evaithe potential candidates untayo drug compounds what i identify chesi we can modulate the uh, target function etla changes chesukochu and these involves molecular docking of each compound in the chemical database into a binding site to to find out the best one 
So predict the electrostatic fitness in between those two, right? So the compounds are ranked based on the appropriate scoring functions and okay? different scoring functions means interaction. So how much interaction those are having? So based on those interactions, we can calculate and we can rank the molecules. So receptor based methods has been successfully applied in many targets. Okay, so types of docking methods are there. So one is lock, lock, uh, lock and key method or rigid docking and term. Another one is induced fit or flexible method and term. So sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair. So you are the flexible and chair is rigid, right? So this is hybrid. Sitting on uh, parent, uh, sitting with the parent. So demo to the you can easily comfortable. Parents are flexible and you are the flexible. So that is called induced fit. And the academic sample weight time. Edi, cheetah, tiger. And the end comfort call and the comfort will push on and So that is a flexible and the molecule is inflexible. Protein is also in a flexible. So automatically you will get the optimum energy range of the molecule which are having interaction. So docking attempts to find out the best matching between the two molecules. Best matching. In the best match available flexible. So that is called as a docking. Based on that flexibility, you can calculate the interaction. Means attraction and the repulsion and the best interaction point you can calculate easily. Right? So lock and key method. So lock and key and DND manaku talamundi talan chay untunde. Rondo rigid. Perfect lock on any key open perfect key on then lock open up. Leg up the leg. So that is called as a rigid method. Right, so in rigid docking, both the internal geometry of the receptor and the ligand is kept fixed, and docking is performed. So, induced fit, uh, flexible method and enumeration of the rotations of the one of the molecules is performed. Every rotation of the surface cell occupies occupancy and energy is calculated. Later, the most optimum optimum pose is selected. So, the best pose based on the confirmations of different. Protein as well as the ligand. Rendity confirmations are changes for the best confirmation, the best surface interaction. energy calculate just we will find out that one. So that is flexible. So if you go with the rigid and flexible docking, the flexible docking is the most best one. Right? And lock and key hypothesis and this concept was suggested by the 19th century chemist Emil Fisher. So he proposed that the active site and substrate are two stable structures that fit perfectly without any further modification just like a key fits into a lock so if one substrate perfectly binds to its active site the interaction between them will be strongest resulting in high catalytic efficacy or efficiency so if you go with the induced fit hypothesis so daniel uh, koshland uh, theory of enzyme substrate binding is the that the active site and the binding portions of the substrate are not that exactly complementary. So the induced fit model is a development of the lock and key model and assumes that an active site is little bit flexible and changes little bit flexible under maximum flexible car, little bit flexible based on the substitution in the context tertiary structure and advantage fix only change in side R groups acid to substitute in R groups amino acid backbone only flexible in functional groups not the complete structure right and then little bit active site is little bit flexible and changes shape until the substrate is completely bound so this model is similar to a person wearing a glove or the glove changes shape to fit the hand all right so component of the molecular docking so one is search algorithm another one is scoring function so search and score this is the most important concept in docking algorithms so searching means finding out a best suitable area after getting a best suitable point then you have to score it right would be the meeting first comfort so that is called as a search. Then you have to score. And then in any pretty chair, comfort and pitch in a mutual and the same mutual or gata mutual or and gunner look at sign another game meeting with the number of dangers through chair, manchunda, leather, and the other car, lirinea, chet lirinea, then key chair key, manchunda, need gunda, leather, and me check just kunda leather. So that is a searching. So search is good. I took half an hour goes on panan and kunda, chase ustra, go to ustra. Edo okay. So based on that, the search and the score. So to find the best confirmation of the ligand and the protein system and rigid and flexible docking. 
so for that you have to go and find out the search so where is the location where is the active site and how much it is flexible and how it is so search area and the volume range area and scoring function and after getting the best search position then it will score the information so how to find out and interaction between those two based on the force field functions so different functions and different methods and based on that you can easily find out the best ones right so to give the best poses of the proteins so the poles of the molecule of the binding site the binding affinity or a score representing the strength of the binding area right and the scoring functions means goal and the scoring function the so molecule the best edaithe manaku butane untundi butane idea unda meku anti position a lekapothe any degrees means degrees of rotations edaithe unda based on that degrees of rotations right degrees of rotations ni base cheskoni energy diagram edaithe undo that energy diagram is represented right so that energy diagram based on that lowest the global minima local minima global maxima local maxima so whenever you go with the global minima then that confirmation is a good one right so i think uh, in your first unit you have that one global minima local minima global maxima and local maxima right so then afterwards this is the fundamental forces of the binding so binding equations based on that how the interaction between those so calculation of the individuals then afterwards calculation of the complex so based on that delta g not is equal to delta h not minus t delta s not means enthalpy minus entropy that is gibbs free energy calculation right so next the factor affecting of the delta g gibbs free energy ni uh, effect chese atundi factors in so intramolecular forces means bond lengths ganindi bond angles ganindi diagonal angles gani ivanni kuda covalent uh, interactions if you go with the non covalent uh, type of interactions means forces of interactions intramolecular or intermolecular sorry intramolecular is a covalent type of interactions intermolecular is a non covalent that is electrostatic forces or dipolar dipolar interactions or hydrogen bonding interactions or hydrophobicity interactions or van der waals type of interactions so these comes under non covalent type of interactions right then we have the perfect scoring function uh, which will accurately calculate the binding affinity and which will allow the actives to be identified in a virtual screening methods so be able to rank actives and in terms of affinity so score the poses of the active higher to the higher to the inactive as well as the lower so which will rank actives higher than the inactives in a virtual screening and score the correct pose of the active higher than the inactive right so correct pose and the incorrect pose and so that will be differentiates right based on the perfect if it is a perfect scoring function active key inactive key madhyalo unnatundi difference anedi identify chese right so what are actives means so those are molecules with a good biological activity so those are called as a active molecules right and next we have the scoring functions can be divided into the following different classes right based on the methods quantum mechanics based regarding the molecular mechanics based regarding right hybrid mechanics we have so force fields methods so based on the terms from molecular mechanics force fields so a molecular mechanics based is con one it one force fields lo you have the software is called gold score dog and auto dog methods so these are the three different softwares are available and if you go with empirical means parameterizing against the experimental binding affinities so parameterized base me delna apne empirical force fields antam so those are chem scores and partial least square plp and the partial least uh, piece wise linear potentials untai and then you have the glide standard precision and extra precision modes right if you go with the knowledge based on modes then that is based on the statistical analysis of observation pair wise distributions of the drugs on the molecules in basis that is pmf and drug score and asp so these three are the different methods so scoring functions right and then types of interactions you know that one electrostatic forces gaane indi electrodynamic forces gaane indi steric forces gaane indi ledha solvent related forces gaane indi electromagnetic forces gaane indi and different uh, physical factors untai so conformational changes in protein gaane indi ligand gaane indi so those will be useful uh, in successful docking process so these are the different common uh, types of interactions are there so electrostatic forces means electrostatic origin due to the charges residing in the matter 
మీన్స్ ప్రోటీన్ కానీ లైన్ కాని చార్జ్ చార్జ్ ఇంటరాక్షన్ కానీ చార్జ్ డైపోల్ ఆర్ డైపోల్ డైపోల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ రైట్ సో ఎలక్ట్రో డైనమిక్ ఫోర్సెస్ వచ్చేసరికి ఏంటంటే హ్యావ్ ద వాటర్ బాల్స్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో విత్ స్టీరిక్ ఫోర్సెస్ యూ హ్యావ్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ స్టీరిక్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద ఎంట్రోపీ యూ కెన్ క్యాల్కులేట్ దట్ వన్ అండ్ సాల్వెంట్ రిలేటెడ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద కొలైడ్స్ అండ్ ప్రోటీన్స్ అయాన్స్ సో డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ సాల్వెంట్స్ విల్ బి అవైలబుల్ హైడ్రోఫోబిక్ అండ్ హైడ్రోజన్ ఫిలిక్ based on that you will get hydrogen bond interactions so those are solvent related forces of interactions right and next we have the virtual staining is a concept the last one almost so virtual staining is a conceptual uh, computational or in silico analog of uh, biological staining so molecules ki biological staining computational through virtually we are staining things the molecules ki oka scaling petesi we can filter that one so that is called as a screen so the aim is to score rank and filter a set of chemical structures using one or more computation procedures so docking is one of the best procedure in that so akade em chestunam best molecule ni dock chestunam oka 100 molecules unna anka 100 molecules ni dock chesi we can calculate that one based on that calculation scoring function we can extract the best ones right so it can be used to help uh, help decide which compounds to screen experimentally so which libraries to synthesize and which compounds to purchase from an external company and to analyze the results of an experiment such as high throughput screenings etla run chestamu what it calls the molecules av so theoretical virtual screening computation virtual screening ani in silico methods lo gaani large set means lakhs lo na molecules ni we can run as a screening method and we can extract 100 or 50 molecules as a top list so uh, top list molecules 50 molecules or 10 molecules or top screened out molecules with name our molecules we can go for this so analysis will be starts from the uh, lats and you can end with the bottleneck right so that is virtual screening methods so this is the virtual screening uh, workflow generally so database of the top tos lab we have the 7000 and nca labs uh, we have the 250000 so screening after that you will get a very reduced one so finally we will get three or four molecules or five molecules as a best ones right so screening of the library based on the similarity search based on the pharmacophore features features and the next one is a docking and cherry picking cherry picking means the best finding out so use of high performance com- computing to analyze large database of chemical compounds in order to find out or identify possibly drug candidates so that is means finding out the best from a large set so that is called as a virtual screening methods so this is the last and final concept that is de novo drug designing so de novo means the start afresh or from scratch or from the beginning right so it is a process in which the 3d structure of receptor is used to design your molecules so involves structural determination of the lead mark lead molecule or lead target so which complexes are lead modifications using molecular modeling tools so information available about target receptor but no existing leads that can interact so it went lead information so like na kuda available drug molecules ki teesukoni based on the similarities we could be that so kovela atla kuda led ankonde ee dino approach lo em chestamu we have the to build the customized like and ante enti manaku kavalsina vidhanga customization so different methods of customizations in so this approach involves a ligand optimization methods so ligand optimization can be done by analyzing protein active site properties and the protein cavity unnatundi properties enti ante amino acids a amino acids cavity in form chestunnai so based on that we can find out ante a ligand elli akkada contact avagalutundi amino acids ni right so that will be find out so the analyze of active site properties are described to negative image of protein such as hydrogen bond chain hydrogen bond acceptors ent right hydrogen bond acceptors so hydrophobic constants so, right so regions contact regions and we find out chesi we can calculate that one we can analyze that one. right so next uh, strategy of the generation so here it is called this method so it is completely de novo method from the scratch so this method is called as a uh, sprouting method antam dinni sprouting ante ante molekul vache antam kada sprouting antam so that is the sprouting method so in this sprouting method you have uh, to find out so in active site how many types of interaction sites are there and hydrogen bond acceptor undi so we have to design a donor if it is a donor is there we have to design acceptor 
if it is hydrophobic then we have to design based on that hydrophobic if it is having aromatic type of interaction so we have to design aromatic so aa vidhanga grouping cheskoni points anni pettukoni aa points ni base cheskoni we will design a fragments so koni fragments ni iskoni aa locations lo petti we can connect in each other so atla we can generate a main molecule so that is a different that is called as a core hopping and so technique or sprouting technique and so those are the different methods which can used to develop so fragment based methods and so akade enti protein undi function telusu but ligand a ligand manaku fit avadu then we have to go with customization so that customization method is called as a fragment based templates to uh, to find out a best fit the binding site right so this program selects a fragment templates randomly in the position positions into the binding site by placing one of the vertices means okoka position lo okoka sphere lo pettesi they will connect into each other and it will generate the best one molecule right this is last one right so thank you for listening this